Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Renee Michelle Merrifield Show. I'm your host, Renee, and we have Jason Aaron. He is the boss of this studio. Hello, everyone. <laughs> but I'm not the boss of you, or am I? Am I? Wait, am I? You are. You're the boss of the world. He's the most sweet, that. precious little man. I love him so much. Aww. And if you need your podcast, come to J Studio. It's the best. He's got this high quality studio. Everyone okay. loves it. You always call it J Studio. It's Studio J. It's Studio J. I'm like dyslexic, what are you doing? I Write think. that down. I think I'm dyslexic. But y'all, look at these shoes. They're supposed to light up. Uh-huh. They weigh like a metric ton. I don't have a close up camera. But um, yeah, they're supposed to light up, but okay. I only got them to light up one time. Pretty, uh, um, pretty hardcore. Yeah, so if any shoe uh, shoe places want to sponsor me. <laughs> Guys, we have such an amazing guest tonight. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. But first, uh, I have sushi on my mind, Jason. Like, uh, we have an amazing sponsor, Sushi Boss. And you know what? They just hooked us up. If you hashtag Renee, you get 20% off. Twenty dollars or more order, so uh, take out order the order for the family. Get that sushi going. Right. Do you, do you want to like show the spot that we have for him? Yeah, because you were it. supposed to say sushi boss, <laughs> and then I was supposed to roll it. So okay, let's try it again. Okay, sushi boss. Looking for something to do that's fun, interactive, and delicious? Sushi boss has mm. got you with the new sushi making kits. Each kit includes four rolls worth of cooked sushi rice, your choice of protein, avocado, cucumbers, and all other essentials for you to roll like a boss. Order today at SushiBoss.com for pickup or delivery. Mmm, that sounds so good right now. I like to get the California roll, you know, call it the white girl roll. There, now now you can talk about the promo code. Yeah, so your promo code is Renee. It doesn't have the accent mark on it, but that's okay. Just R-E-N-E-E. And you get 20% off. $20 or more, so... Go to the the website, go to the app, and use promo code Renee for a limited time. We're going to keep it going for as long as we can, uh, but uh, you better hurry up. One time only, you get one shot at this, so make it a big order. Yes, yes. And shout out to Jason at Sushi Boss for having us. Yo, who do we have here in the studio live and in the flesh? What's up, girl? Everybody, it's Lisa Mason Lee. And oh my gosh, I could not talk this girl up enough. She is a famous actress. Wow. You are. You are famous, aren't you? I'll take it. I'll take any kind of promotion, (laughs) good promotion, bad promotion. Look at those laser eyes. Ah, You're so pretty. Yeah, yo. Lisa's the best. Like, I'm so honored to have you on my show, girl. Thank you so much for having me. I can't believe it. And congratulations with your new show. Thank you. I'm so happy to be able to support (laughs) you and be here today. And I even brought you a present. Oh, my God. You brought me a present? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I just wanted to. Oh, Apothic. Yeah, it's California. From California. My mom. Uh, introduce me to Apothic. Thank you so much. I've yeah. never tried the rosé. Well, yeah, it's for day drinking because we're in quarantine. I mean, you got to start oh. early. So yes. we'll, maybe we'll pour some later and try it. I have another thing for you. Yes. It's in here. You have to open it oh, up. Oh, you're so sweet to me. You did not have to do that. Yeah. It's a little- Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> it's a little rock! It's Aww. a little pet rock I made. Cause you rock! Thank you! Well, Thank people, you. you know, lonely times, you know, I'll I just, right. I made a little friend. He's, it's adorable. She's a little lopsided. Oh, look at that. Yeah, hey. my mom, my mom inspired that actually. She, <laughs> she makes a lot of crazy stuff. She paints, she draws. And she inspired me to start making pet rocks. Oh, I heard that was like two people were like, you know, making little rocks and like giving them to people and like putting them everywhere. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so sweet. Shout yeah. out. Shout out to Nancy. Thank you. Nancy Kasnick. Shout out to my mom, Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. <laughs> I mean, she's probably watching now. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she's thing. so proud of her daughter. Like you out here just rocking the <laughs> free world. Rocking. <laughs> Rocking, I, I see what you did there. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of uh, growing up uh, and, and traveling with the uh, the family, going to different campgrounds. Uh, I think it was Jellystone, the Jellystone parks, or there was some park chain where you could uh, you could find rocks. You just walk around you f- and you find little rocks, and then you cash oh, them in for like uh, arcade face. tokens or something. So, oh, oh. Yeah, a little blast for the pe- yeah, it was really cool. It was a it was a good little carrot, you know, mm-hmm. dangled. <laughs> dangled carrot, dangled, dangled carrot. carrot. Yeah. Oh, you know. those dangled carrots! Yeah, I swear. In <laughs> well, because then we would end up looking for those campgrounds that had that, and all the, all the kids were like, "Yeah, hey, let's go there," and we'd make uh, the extra, you know, the extra trip to uh, 
to go to one of those campgrounds. I want to go camping. I love camping. And Jason, hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. say hi. hi you you guys have been friends for so We've long. We've known yeah. each other for coming up on, I think, probably 20 years, don't, right? Don't be, don't be dating us like well, that. Don't, don't be doing I wondered 20. when I posted it's that. Under line, 20, right? yeah, it's under 20, though. Yeah, it's under 20. It's like We 17. met when I was like 10. 2003. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yep. He was, uh. Now I was 12. <laughs> we'll have to yeah, br- right, bring won't. up some of that dirt later. Uh, yes. I mean, Losers Lounge, right? Yeah, knowing each other that much. Shout don't out, y'all Dom probably Dom got some at dirt. Me. <laughs> I know y'all got some dirt on each other. You know what? Ooh. I better have that DVD somewhere. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab that actually in a minute. Well, hopefully you don't have a limit date that episode. It's funny you should mention that. Don't you dare. Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and now I, I wish I did. Do not. <laughs> I do not. We'll elaborate that. on that at some point That's if we right. want to come back to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Let me. Uh, the let's tell the viewers all about you. Do you mind if I just spiel on you? Why for start now? We're, ha- we're halfway through the show and <laughs> we've been talking about it for a while. Go ahead I know. I mean, I'm sure they're wondering like, like who is this girl? Like, look at this girl. Who is she? Like, who is girl. That girl. Who is this girl? Like, I don't ooh, know. ooh. Like, girl, you could, okay, you need to be a supermodel, first of all. Not only are you, like, like, like trying to, you on the big screen, but also you need to be on, like, every billboard and, like, everything. And your music. Wow. This girl, she's got music. She's got everything. I mean, she Thank is, you. like, queen god of the world. Shall I, <laughs> of women. Shall I roll? You are women? Yeah, women? let's women? roll it. <laughs> okay. Roll it, my friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Y'all, guess what? Lisa Mason Lee always aspired to be on the big screen. Never giving up, she pushed through the difficult and trying barrier known as the acting world, always leaving, always giving each role her heart and soul. A few years ago, she followed her dream to be an actress and filmmaker, moving to Hollywood. She since appeared in dozens of shows, worked on dozens more, and even has her own movie coming out. My favorite factoid about Lisa Mason Lee? She played Captain Marvel's body double. Say what? Yes, you heard me right. This girl played Disney's new blockbuster hit, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson's body double. Um, kitty cat emoji with the hearts inside the eyes. <laughs> so here's some upcoming projects in no particular order. Movie um, just completed post acting to movie Secret Agent Dingledorf and his trusty dog Splat. <laughs> Based on the Bill Myers children's books directed by Billy Dickinson. She was guest starring on an Amazon show, which comes out April 24th. It's called Job Guys, directed by Brooke Hubs. Amazon movie out now for rent or buy. Her movie directed by herself, Angry Baker. Such, oh guys, everybody check out Angry Baker. She freaking directed this. And she just acted in a TV pilot episode for Tiny Cinema, directed by Tyler Kornack. And this got him put on hold because of the coronavirus. Boom, boom, boom. But it's still there. So, she shot behind the scenes for Tiny Cinema's Butt Boy, and that came out today, actually, on Digital VOD. She was a stand-in on the upcoming Mandalorian Season 2 Disney Plus Star Wars show. What the heck? Stand-in for the child, a.k.a. Baby Yoda. Also for Gina Carano. She kind of looks like a little baby Yoda. He's so cute. I love it. Oh, that is. Oh, Baby Yoda is my (laughs) life, honestly, and that show is my life. Lastly. Oh, I thought it was Baby Yoda for a second. Oh, look at those eyes. You look like Baby Yoda. Oh, Back to her so intro. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, she was fitted and booked for Ryan Murphy's new American Dude. crime story, Bill and Monica, to play a reporter. But coronavirus shut it down until further notice. Coronavirus. Damn you, coronavirus. And guess what she did last year? Like I mentioned before, she was a stand-in and a body double for Captain Marvel, which is Brie Larson. And she was on Bravo TV Season 1, Dirty John, which is now available on Netflix. This girl is on fire. (laughs) You better distinguish. No, don't distinguish. You're killing it, girl. Killing the game. Man, it's like I forgot all about that in this quarantine that we're living in right now. (laughs) Girl, the quarantine. You get like text like 3 p.m. You up? (laughs) (laughs) That's me sending them for sure. Just look at her diversity. I I, I love... I love the different roles that you that you play. That's so. That's so oh funny. yeah, you have Thank such you. a great range of like exactly what is that diversity and like, I mean everything that you've done. And there's been so much more too. But I mean, it's just like girl, like you type in IMDb, like this girl's like boom chugalaga all over. It's like how does that feel having your being on like, uh, did I say that right? I, yeah, IMDb. DB. DB. I always mm-hmm. feel like I say it backwards. So what's the hell like like having your own like page girl in the stars girl? I don't know. It actually I don't know. You could ask Jason. We could go back twenty years. I mean, it's it's, Jay- a, it's no big deal really. I want to <laughs> say that Jason's 
film he was working on back in the day was what was that called, Jason? Oh, Let's le- reflect that a little was, bit here. Oh god, that was uh, I am DB. Right before IMDb got bought out by Amazon, before IMDb was ruling the industry. Well, I mean, it still was, but it was in the baby baby mm-hmm. stages. Jason baby had Yoda. this killer idea of oh, like man. how to get up in the top I ranking. I did not of, realize you were gonna go there. Shush, <laughs> shush. I was wondering how there. Jason ended up on IMDb. The reason, the, reason, <laughs> the reason why I'm talking about it is because that was like m- one of my first credits on IMDb and I was like what is this I remember he was trying to explain it to me I was like what is IMDb and it was when I was living back in Indiana and then um, he started doing the show I don't know what happened to it but Uh, anyway we were we were young crazy artists And you know, um, yeah, I love your old reel. Sorry to interrupt. I love your old reel. It's just like <laughs> you look exactly the same, but it's like here's, it's just like you have page. such Thanks. a you have if, such a great look. If you people, you viewers out there and listeners, uh, like imdb.com for looking up movie, you know, movie trivia and show times and stuff like that. Here's uh, here's Lisa's page. Look at that, Captain but Marvel. Boy. Boy. <laughs> Angry Baker. Bubble butt. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Yes, yeah. uh-huh. Angry there's Baker. A lot of bu- there's a lot of butts. So look at this. Look at the, look at these credits. Oh, thanks. Look at these. It credits. just goes Jesus. on and on. Good God, Damn. that's what I'm talking about. Oh, girl. Bust. Bust was a great movie. Okay, yeah, I barely remember <sighs> that. That was my first credit, Bust, and that was I was a background actor, which is also known as an extra in that movie, and it was shot in Indianapolis at a Noble Romans. Remember that, Jason? Were you there that yeah, day? I, I no, I wasn't part of that production actually. Oh. Uh, but uh, Alberto Diaz, yeah. uh, who passed away, um, man, when was it? It was it was not long after after this um, premiered, right? Right. And uh, yeah, I believe you called me actually. I was like, Alberto died. Um, Aww, but yeah, Alberto. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but very so talented and just uh, did a lot with the little and uh, you know, it was a great. That was a fun movie. Dude, that whole era back here in Indy, the film commune, yes. the what was that theater um, that used to eat and watch movies at? And we oh, would, um, I love that place. Um, is it boards? still open? No, it's different. No, no different, it was uh, this. It was this little tiny theater in a shopping center, and like all the little the the local filmmakers who were just starting out were playing their stuff mm-hmm. there, and it was this small group of people, and we were just like damn, so like underground, passionate. underground. It was like yeah, I was like in college at the time, and it was like I met Jason. I'm not sure how Jason I met exactly, but we were. It was definitely a loser's lounge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You had the, you had the stripy, the stripy <laughs> hair. What? Ooh, you had a little no, stripe in your hair. You you I'm not gonna look. lie. I smoked a little of that California Kush and watched my old original reel re- <laughs> recently. How do you feel about it? And I'm it? sorry I couldn't bring you any California Kush because it's <laughs> illegal to bring on the plane all the way here. But hey, when we happens. got some fire out there, and you know what's crazy? The weed stores are still open right now. Like it's an essential, essential business. business. Yeah. I was like, you God bless know. Cali. Um, <laughs> but anyway, what were we talking about? Yeah, girl, you up in Not the heart of no Hollywood. Idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of history here, but we had a lot of fun and back in the early days of the film scene. I, and I miss mm-hmm. those days. I really miss those days. And it's a shame because I feel like I feel like the the community tore itself apart. There was there was just like bickering. Like it could and, have been strong, but it yeah, just kind of fizzled. Yeah, and competition in the wrong way, you know, and just um, bad mouthing and stuff. And it's, it's that's really why our shame. girl was like, "I'm going to Hollywood." Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't. So the, maybe that's a good thing. It did fizzle out for you. Well, I wasn't the only one who left. There were a, a couple people in the film commune who left. Like uh, mm-hmm. Joel Umball was yeah. one of them. I run into him every once in a while, actually. Yeah, he, I'm still friends with Joel. We yeah. what did we, did we work in LA together? I don't think so. We we hung out and met up. But we worked on an Indiana State Fair commercial, like back when I was the face of Indy in 2014. Hair flip. <laughs> yeah. That, that was right, when yeah. I was worth the wish. Uh, what did the accent come from? I don't know, girl. <laughs> Coronavirus. Coronavirus. You, 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 <laughs> it just gives me an accent. I don't know. I've been in quarantine. Too, like, I haven't been out of the house. Now I like can't shut up. We're all like losing our minds. So like, what is it? Literally, like, this is hair of the dog for me. I'm like, Ugh, mm. like, uh, drank so much last night, you know, but it's like everybody's drinking all day, every day. What is life right now? It's yeah, so crazy. Um, a box of hair dye, um, <laughs> no nails. <laughs> Girl, we be looking ratchet. Yeah, I you, already know people are gonna crawl out of the quarantine like, <laughs> like looking like little 
I don't even know. Well, one, of my, one of my favorite <laughs> memes was like, I knew that being a scrub would pay off in the quarantine. I'm like, that's me. Like, I never do my go get my nails done. I'm like, not a hair girl or anything. I fixed up got today. That natural I beauty, girl. I shower. So, so based in, you know, based in Avon, mm. um, you're. Which I'm Brownsburg. You're, Paula. Right next did to you. Did you come? Like, how did the. Um, I mean, you're normally, like, you only usually pop in. Maybe a couple times a year. Yeah, I caught you. I was to lucky Indiana. to catch like, you. Did you? Did you? Uh, I mean, was this a decision to come home for a bit because of the coronavirus and just to kind of huddle with the family, kind of thing? Or yeah, um, originally I was coming to. I was going to come back here in May for the race. Mm. Um, that's usually <laughs> when I come back. Now and in August. I well, I, I missed um, Christmas this time. Because I had a lot of projects going. I had a lot of projects going on. Yeah. Girl, you did now. I mean, you know, like you once you. the thing is about L.A. and this business, like once you get rolling on something, you're like afraid to leave. You're like, well, what if they call me? What if I get my next this or that? And mm -hmm. it happens. There's like a saying about that. It's like once you go on vacation, that's when that's someone when calls call you. Yeah. And it's happened. But um, no, man, like when the news started <laughs> coming out about the corona, I was just like, like it, me it and my home. friends were like in shock. And we were like, what is this? Like, what's going to happen? And then as the news started trickling in, we started getting worried. And we're like, well, what do we need to do? And then, like, I'm calling my brother and, and his wife, you know, Chris and Heather. And I'm like, they're preppers. So mm. they're the people. <laughs> you, Doomsday preppers. Everybody I was calling them. They're the people who you call when it, the shit's hitting the fan. Like, they're the apocalypse crew. And uh, they've got mm -hmm. the advice. They're like, this is what you do. This is how things are going to go. And I remember L.A. was just getting eerie. I just saw a lot Ugh. of things happening that just started kind of alarming me and kind of lit the fire under my ass. So I was like, man, if, you know, if they lock down the airlines, they lock down the city. I'm not getting out of here. And mm -hmm. I don't want to be stuck in food lines. I didn't want to be in a bad situation and something that wasn't safe because I live in the butthole of Hollywood pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> Central Hollywood is insane, you guys. Butthole Boulevard. It's, it's <laughs> such an insane city. And I'm like there by myself. I'm like my taser and my knife can only get me so far. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, in case Mom, the purge is happening, it, I'm coming oh, home. Man, it felt minute. like that. Things mm -hmm. were getting so weird, and people at the grocery store, Weirder, like maybe. Man, I remember like just before the lockdown happened, like me and some of my friends, we were all like just like knew we we were all like on that same plane where we knew something shit was gonna go down, mm -hmm. and like people are like man, the grocery stores are going crazy. Like, they're running out of pasta. They're running out of this and that. Oh, it's scary. Yeah, and we were like, this is, like, real. And, like, there are some people that were in denial about it, and then we're like, all right, we got to just, like, get logical, get serious. And we, like, mm -hmm. went shopping. We stocked up. We got food and everything. But even that wasn't enough for me to feel like, oh, I'm in the city kind of, like, by myself in my studio. And then I was like, Mom, I'm coming home. So I just Aww. got a ticket last minute. I'm sure like, she was thrilled. Yeah, my, my, my sister-in-law, Heather, she's like, what are you going to pick the color for the house when it's burning down? You know, <laughs> you, should, you should come home. Get and I'm like, home. I'm coming. So I just threw a bunch of shit in my suitcase and, like, okay. ducked out of there. And I, like, came home and, like, the plane and the, the layover. It was the weirdest. Like, I flew out of Burbank Airport. LAX is, like, the main airport. Burbank's, like, smaller. I love Burbank. It's, like, $100 more, but... You get a small kind of, it's like kind of the celebrity airport. It's kind of hey. like small. You don't have to deal with all the drama. <laughs> and like, it was completely empty. There were like 10 people in the security Isn't checkout. That eerie? I started crying. Oh my God. I panicked. I'm like, this is real. Like, yeah. this shit is going down. And then um, I get on the plane and there were just a few people on the plane. It was a little plane. Then we, dr we lay over at Vegas. Vegas, all the, the slots were shut down. down. Yeah. All the tourists. We're, we're forced to get out. It was right when the hotels closed. Mm -hmm. Everybody, we, we was were supposed to go to Vegas yeah. March, yeah. March 27th birthday. for her birthday. And, for a whole week. And we, it was just, yeah, it, it was canceled. getting bad. We so were going to cancel anyway because we, we yeah. were feeling bad. But yeah, like we were going to wait on it just you to felt see. It. You felt it though. Exactly. And the same thing happened to me too. I was shopping for my grandparents when shit started getting real. And I like, it was when just all the stores became empty all the time. And so you just walk in there and you were just like, I literally was having like, I was crying. I'm like, yeah. I, how am I supposed to help my grandparents? You know yeah. what I mean? I'll be fine off ramen for a minute, but <laughs> <laughs> they 90 and they're so cute and there's no bread and there's no meat. And yeah. this is zombie apocalypse, like shit right here. Like this is crazy. So I feel that when it, when it got real. 
but like you said it's like some people knew too it's like i had that feeling too i had a creepy feeling it was yeah in I don't your like gut it. Yeah. yeah i remember and i was like calling my friends and they were calling me and we we're having like some serious talks about everything like what are we gonna do how's this gonna go down we were making plans mm-hmm. and um, so was this like mid-march kind of yeah it was like just before saint patty's day i believe mm. and then um I got my shit together and came back, and I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be locked down, it's going to be with my close family, my close friends, and that's going to be it. And that was the best decision I made. So yeah. I'm real. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy because they closed all the parks. There's no hiking. There's no gyms open. There's lines at <laughs> there's the grocery store. There's literally nothing. Nothing. <laughs> in LA, is like all about the beaches and all about the sunshine. And I'm like, if I can't go to the beach and if I can't hike, it's gonna going to suck. I'm going back home. Yeah. So so I'm having a great time back at home. And I'm like Good. reconnecting with family. And it's a long overdue vacation. And it's funny because it was going to come back in May for the race, mm-hmm. as I always <laughs> do. It's like a religion. And uh, I'm like my tickets still like they keep reminding me on southwest that i have a flight you know to come back then i'm like uh uh well, okay, okay like i'm here like i don't know i'll just put the points or the money towards so still paying flight. rent for your studio yes that's gotta so, suck speaking of that those trump checks i mean it's just pff, going straight to that, yeah. <laughs> to that all rent. Going to it. like right to the rent i guarantee you that rent is high than my fuck well, it's pretty much twelve hundred dollars where I live. Just for a little baby. I'm gonna studio. be honest. For a little studio, a room, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, if I'm lucky to even have a that's like what kitchen. we pay for this house, big ass house. I know. Oh, you. Oh my God. You're like, girl, that's, don't get me started. Man, I know you could like. It's it's funny. It's like a bo- a shack in the back of a backyard. <laughs> I'm like twelve hundred dollars. You know, those it's like, bastards. We've, we've got a, br- a br- Bunsen burner, and I'm like. <laughs> I have oh. a, yeah. I have a dishwasher. <laughs> I have a full kitchen. I Bunsen have a fridge. That, like, that is a I'm, word I did not think would make it into the show. <laughs> Isn't it Bunsen? Bunsen Isn't it Bunsen burner? Bunsen, it's a Bunsen burner. burner. Yeah, which um, my sister-in-law sent me an electric stove that's like butane fueled mm-hmm. some months ago, and she like called me before the quarantine. She's like, you know, I'm still in LA. She's like, did you get the butane for the stove? <laughs> I'm like, no. And then I was like looking it up and it was the worst time to find prep or anything because everything, TP was flying off the shelves, the butane, any, you know, prepper shit was gone. And I'm like, I can't find it. And Amazon will not send it to my house. I'm coming home. It's gone. There's yeah. no butane. There's no, bu- there's no, you know, she's like, did you get your rice and beans? Did you stock your cabinets? Like we had these talks a year That's ago. Hilarious. She, she sounds so monotone. Dude, did you get the butane? She's, re- she's ready. She's an empath. Wow. She's a psychic. Um, she mm-hmm. knows what's up, and um, she she encouraged me to come home. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here, girl. Speaking of, I was like, empath. Yes. It really has nothing to do with this. Go find Lisa on <laughs> Facebook. Mm-hmm. Give her a like. Yes, give her a like. Well, I got the right page. Yeah. Okay. This girl is <laughs> going to land a slide huge into her, role. Slide into her DMs. <laughs> Girl, bring me to the top with you, girl. You know what I'm saying? Man, bring Renee. a bitch, too. Now, let's if I get famous first, too, you. then. Oh, no, no. Let's talk about du- dude. 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 <laughs> when I saw that, that you were, like, in a band called Dude, dude. I, was I, know, like, I was like, wait, I love I her like, even dude. more. I love this girl. I'm like. Yes, I'm, girl. It's so funny because I, re- I really didn't know you or get to know you. I know you through Jason, obviously. Mm-hmm. But I felt like when we worked together, like, I already knew you. I'm yeah. like, I get her. She's my kind of people. <laughs> She's an artist. It's so true. It feels like I, we've hung out, like, a million times when we just did that one project together, which we're going to yeah. play soon. But, oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, speaking of, Guys, I we, mean, since you oh brought up the first project. This well, is Lisa's song, and it is such an amazing song. To grasp um, she directed this oh, video. Okay. She came up with all of you know, the whole entire thing, and Jason filmed it, and um, Lisa edited it. It was an honor to be a part of this. I just think this video is so hot and amazing, and it's just like really like a special video. I don't know. I love it, and I love the song. <laughs> this song needs to be a hit song. I love it. It's Jason. like I just want a hair thrash to the song. You, like, yeah. you want Thank it. you. And this was so shot good. in downtown Indianapolis when I came home. It was still kind of cold out, right? Uh, yeah, those yeah, buildings were kind of protecting us, though. That's yeah, why you had yeah. this coat on. <laughs> yeah. Look, and then so there was some there's some real sketchy cute. fellers out there. That oh day. yeah, there was like, like that one people. right there. Yeah, there's there's I would have. Dude, if I saw us, I would have been sketchy, too. I would have yeah. been like, who dat? Who dat? Who's that? Who that? me, I look like a Why prostitute. Why is there a coronavirus all over the brick? <laughs> coronavirus? <laughs> I know. I thought that when I saw that earlier. Like, why am I touching the walls? Uh. Again, Renee's boots for the win. Oh, you know the shoes. Too many. Too many shoes. I love how you're, like, scared here. You're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. What I'm a who the hell's that? She's so innocent. She's so innocent. Oh, but who's here this? Here comes this slut. Who oh. is this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. 
the only time I straighten my hair. It's like, <laughs> curl, it's like the curls are trying to come through. That's why I wear wigs <laughs> on videos a lot. It's much, yeah. What you know that? how the curly hair is. What is that down the dark alleyway? <laughs> but surprise, come for your way. <laughs> oh, what is that snap. vial she's carrying? Filmed by Jason. Jason, your ring light was so dope. It was so dope. Your steering wheel ring light yeah. camera. And he made that thing. Out Did of like Jason, bring your star. Totes. I'm alright. Oh, I just oh, I'm the, oh, oh, we look so who is cute. That? Mommy. She is a giant. <laughs> Those big ass shoes. That was so dope. I love the song, Those girl. Vocals. This is a great song. Thanks. Yes, yeah, this is Lisa's song, y'all. Vocals. What are you trying to do to me in the middle of the night on the I'm street? Poison you with. Take the potion. <laughs> You look so good in this video. You too. You girl. look good now, but I mean, like you, like I know. I, you pulled I was like, it damn, I look hot as yeah. shit in this. You like were exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted you. I wanted you. <laughs> Had you even met her before no. this? No, no, it was the first time. But we instantly hit, like, hooked it up. Like, like you mentioned, it was just like, yeah, she felt like we'd hung out like a million times at that point. And you did such a great job editing this, Lisa. I love the way you did that. Thanks. Oh, she, she came to the take dark over side. That took too fucking long. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she came to the dark side. The ratchets unite. Hey. I turned no. her ass like a vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> into that's, the dark. That was kind of the point. So hot. It's about you know giving your life to the darkness and the night of the evil side. Look at those icy eyes, girl. <laughs> Them eyes. That was creepy. Look at that, like, hallway alley looking thing. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Damn, this is a great. I love this video. Slow motion rules. Yeah, was that 4K Every slow motion? Or yeah. Uh, oh, I love that, was, that part. That wasn't I look 4K. like a zombie. Ah, yeah. Oh, let Jason tell us if it's 4K or not. Yeah. Well, the GoPro was. Dude, 4K's uh, a mess. It was Ultra HD, but yeah. uh, I was still on the Canon then. Dude, 4K DSLR. just kind of hit us like a bus, didn't it? Now Dude, there's I like look, 8K. I look awful uh, in 4K. I'm like, give me the old cameras yeah. where it doesn't show my every pore. Yeah, you don't even have pores. You <laughs> like, <laughs> you have a baby's butt on your face. Speaking of hey, butt. Uh -huh. Woo! More butts. Hey. butts that was your edit. Win. I can't butts, even butts. take credit for that one. <laughs> and I love my smirk after this. Like, I'm like, Dang happy girl. that I turned you. I'm like, yes. This is like uh -huh. Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> This song is lit. Thank you. On Spotify for purchase. Oh, we got, we <laughs> I love the Spotify guitar too. The I love that part Thank where I you. smile. I'm like, yes, bitch, turn to bitch. But yeah, who was guitar on this? Was it just a studio musician you hired? I, you like no, I engineered the whole thing. It's all MIDI. Uh, some loops, know. like, you know, MIDI. you get a MIDI keyboard mm -hmm. where it has all the sounds Jason in there. Jason just got me a MIDI keyboard. I've been, like, begging for one. I'll yeah. teach you Logic if you want, or GarageBand. Yeah, I have um, I have Logic Pro X, girl. Dude, Logic's, I barely know how to it's use baby it. Pro Tools. Right. You can do, you but can with do, more colors. You want like, connect. Billie Eilish did, I'm sorry, we had to bring her up. Everybody <laughs> well, talks about her. Like she has, her. like, 10 oh, Grammys. No, I know, but, you know, she mm -hmm. just stole the show. But, you um, see her long-ass nails, though, at the Grammys? She was like, yeah. <laughs> no, she clapped like this. I'm like, girl, you are not Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not. But her and her brother made their... Finis. Yeah, in their bedroom or in their house or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. So you can do it. Yeah, that's crazy. Right, right. You can DIY. Jason has always been do-it-yourself kind of guy. Jason, I've seen you from the very beginning start. And look at you now. You've got like 10 cameras on us. Mm -hmm. And you've got like your control tower over there and he's constantly <laughs> upgrading like Ooh, i've never seen anything is, like it oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. he's just always investing into his business and like making it better and like like i was telling her like 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 lol like but i was like, like share like like now i can't stop saying it holy fuck balls <laughs> but i was telling you earlier about the alexa look, he at, all, done, look at all this stuff we got the studio cam on look uh, at that Ooh. Look he how dope. is dope here. here's you, my control center he's I'm obsessed gonna, Here's I'm gonna call screen. you Jason Rogan. Do it. No, yeah. seriously, I Actually, we, love we love Joe Rogan. My oh podcast my has been podcast is the like podcast my, the uh, that I produce has been compared to Joe Rogan a lot, except mine is better. I video will wise. concur. Like for, as far as you've video got more angles. All that. Yeah, his angles like it's uh, all about the angles. last night on, I was Joe. watching. What was it? Uh, Chris D Della. I can't say it. Della. Is that how you say uh, the comedian? I don't know what you're he saying. He was a guest on Joe last night, but um and. 
Oh, I almost said the F word. Did you hear that? We Sorry, Mom. Uh, I think that's happened a couple times here. That's <laughs> and right. the other guy, know, the but comedian, a chicken wing. if Safe someone place. was live, can they tell me who was the second person on the Joe show last night? Uh-huh. But anyway, the angles, um, they up. couldn't cover everybody because it was three of them, and there was a lot of side faces and back oh, yeah. of the heads and, and stuff. And he, has, and he seems to have a very narrow studio kind of thing, which uh-huh. doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't help. But I oh, I love Joe. And I've yeah. seen him oh, so yeah. many times do stand-up, and he pops in. At the comedy store and Chris the improv. Del- Del- Delia? Del- Delia, whatever. Actor, I've never writer, seen that name comedian. before. Hmm. He's good. He's hilarious. He's he needs to bring back Fear Factor. You know, I didn't really care Fear for him factor. back then. I was like, he's just kind of like he's an just like, who ogre. The fuck is he? <laughs> like a, kind of a, this USC Fun fact, dickhead. I worked with the associate producer of Fun Factor on fun IMDb. Factor. <laughs> but yeah, it's Fun Factor. <laughs> it ain't no Fun Factor. Fun it's fact. like Fear eating, co- eating cockroaches is so much fun. <laughs> I always thought I could win. And but then as I got no. older, I'm like, oh no. hell no! You're too picky. Oh, You're too picky. oh, the shit they would. Oh no, I'm done. I'm out of here. I don't give a shit how much money you're gonna give me. I'll I'll do the jumping, flying plane things. Uh-huh. You make me eat any spiders or put me in a vat of snakes. I'm out of there. Yeah. I'm not doing any of that shit. No, none of that. No. Yep. Big no. fan of the Joe Show though. I mean, I love. Yeah, he his podcast talk- is cool. He's yeah. very like honest, and I yeah. I like that. I do too. He's just like, blah, blah, blah. like and he the, just and, says what's on his mind. And I feel like we're hungry for that right now. Like we want to hear real shit right now. We're mm-hmm. tired of the mainstream news and the media fighting all the time. It's like Joe's just like a br- fresh, shooter. fresh breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking fresh for. Fresh breath of fresh, fresh air, <laughs> fresh. I know. Like I can't talk fresh. today or something. It's like fresh. coronavirus got me fresh. all. My Corona. head is like in I'm a in bubble. Quarantine. I'm in quarantine. This quarantine's quarantine is making me crazy, y'all. Coronavirus. I know. Like so, so what is, people are doing crazy talk. stuff. What's like what's crazier <laughs> dating in hollywood <laughs> or dating during quarantine well you can't really date during quarantine unless it's like oh well, texting like well <laughs> oh lisa lee <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I, I was watching whitney cummings on the kelly and ryan show and she was saying that she was talking to someone new in quarantine or whatever. And then she got caught, like, liking a picture from seven years ago. And she's like, I'm rusty. I'm like, dude, that is some shit. If you like somebody's photo oh, from yeah. seven years ago, wow. you so are true. fucked. That's You're going diving. through all of I, yeah. That's happened to me that's before. Everybody web. looks. Let's be real. Everybody yeah, looks. Yeah, just scroll way You've back. You've got to research. You've got to mm-hmm. PI that shit in, like, nobody's business, especially mm-hmm. in Hollywood. Because Hollywood attracts... A lot of wonderful people, a lot of artists. And a lot of sociopaths. And, all, and a lot of sociopaths. <laughs> Narcissists, um, mm-hmm. crazy people with disorders and delusions. But I've never um, seen your post what? about like neighbors of yours and you're just like, oh, help me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, yeah. I've What's like, your neighbor's first, middle, and last name? Yeah. <laughs> Call yeah. him on blast. No. Yeah, yeah right. no, no, no. I've got cameras. He's like, she's I've like, been, I don't know his name. I got I surveillance to, because of this guy. You got Like, to. every girl I know, all my friends, they all have at least like one stalker a good solid stalker i'm surprised you don't have like 87 million stalkers ah thank you <laughs> i mean it feel, makes me feel popular um but, but back, at the time it's like no no when i did youtube back in the day uh, i used to attract a lot of interesting characters well you know when you have like 13 million 13 <laughs> million views that is probably not too hard to attract a lot of weirdos mm-hmm. right but it, am might- i right on the number uh, I don't know. I had like a hundred thousand subscribers from the channel I used to be on, which we don't need to mention. Um, <laughs> Screw that. We don't want to put the attention towards that. Yeah. But yeah, I was a partner, one of the first YouTube partners, like in the the pool of the second wave of YouTubers. And then uh, I got a lot of great opportunities when I used to do YouTube. It was like a way to put yourself out there. And it's now it's just so saturated and. Yeah. You're lucky to have a following on YouTube, but you can still have one. If you have something that people like, they will subscribe and they will come back and they will worship you and love you. And My old great. YouTube shit is ridiculously dumb. It's it, probably But funny. it's funny, though. Yeah. yeah. I just, like, choked on my own spit. But <laughs> I was like. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good drink, by the way. You oh. like it? Good. Coffee? Oh, is that, oh, is look, that Folgers? Guys, it's the pop machine. I guys. remember them. They're dope. 
Yes, yeah. Eric and they Mark were on the show, Johnson. Uh, two weeks ago. Mm. Yes, they were my special guests a few weeks ago, and mm. they're amazing. Mm. So I had Delicious. to rep. I had to rep the pop machine. What's up? What's up? So cool. Machine. Hit and them up because you're a singer, Thanks right? For the coffee cup. Yes, yes. You let's know. let's hear about that a little bit. Oh well, you know that's just my life. So you I, know, I, girl. you know, girl, <laughs> you so know, juicy. so juicy. How it's you doing? Life. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really blessed. I'm just so happy to be able to do what I love. I mean, you know what it's like. It's like doing the stuff that we do it's not really conventional so it's like most people like most everyone just works to make money and it's like i know that you have to get the money but um i'm just grateful i'm a i've been teaching for like almost a decade which i never you know i always wanted to stay in music my whole life so i've been blessed uh, not only being able to perform and with my band dude and my the other band mono fiction which is an original rock band but with you know great gigs like when we opened up for smash mouth and stuff like that and some really cool opportunities but then also teaching like hundreds of people just how to be a you know a better musician and a better singer and and just to do it the healthy way and stuff and it's just like and then you know and i'm on the side i have like millions of songs that I are undercover. So I'm just waiting to release my song children into the world. I mean, I probably have like, I'm sitting on like, Let probably like fly. six, seven albums. Why are you sitting so on, what is many that? So many songs. Why, why are they so are, are you gonna put songs. them in shows? Why don't you get them licensed and put them oh, in shows? Lisa's gonna friends. challenge you now. Yeah, and I really wanna start making scores too. So that's why I wanna Ooh. get the MIDI. So, you yeah. know, like instrumental scores for shows, movies, stuff like that. I just wanna yeah. be a music producer. This is like my number one, it always has been my number one goal, but I haven't for some reason. I mean, I, I don't know how to do the basic Got stuff. A nice I, have, space I do have to a studio. And I mean, here so is, I'm this finally is one of three studio spaces here. So look at that. Yeah, I love the studio and she's Joel got her really hooked it up. Yeah, yeah. She's got her own show now. Yeah, and it's kind of dope. <laughs> like I've been wanting to do a show. I've been Everyone, wanting to get You back should, into girl. It. Everyone's like, "Why the hell you call it the Renee Michelle Maryville show? You vain ass." I'm like, "Why well, not?" I'm a vain because ass. that's your name. Vain ass. Well, branding. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. I think it's hard to say, but not for me. Renee Michelle Merrifield show. <laughs> Renee Michelle Merrifield. Little oh. ASMR. Let's get a little <laughs> ASMR here. Every yeah, good boy. Let's eat those chicken wings. <laughs> oh, that Cardi B did muck, that on muck, what's oh. it called? Muck back, back muck, 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 muck bang, muck bang. <laughs> <laughs> Where you eat on camera. You don't know what mukbang is? I've been seeing so, these things where people are gym? eating Dude, no, like just, weird stuff. Like just they'll eat. eat like Louis Vuitton heels that are like edible and like weird what? things. And I'm like, oh, but I can't stand that though. I can't stand it. And muck, it's a thing. You know how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Muck so like, and like, ASMR where they're like stroking a brush <laughs> and the bristles <laughs> into the microphone. Oh my I God, thought about no getting into it. No, no, please. I I'm going to do, do it someday. I mean, it's seriously big right now. And I'm like, okay, the satisfying videos were big. And now it's like that, S and A and S. To me, that just, that just seems like you're asking for creepers. You are. It's just like foot, foot porn. You know what I mean? Like. Put foot porn. On it's called foot fetish, which I'm, I, I know. I got a like, foot fetish. Kind That's of the classy way of explaining it, but let's be real. Foot it's foot porn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. It really is. Especially if someone's in it, like, if they like feet, then it's like, yeah. That's foot porn for sure. But show. they love feet. Hey, I don't mind I someone my massaging feet. my feet. Come I out. love feet. Come I don't out. know different. what it is. That's different. Like, a lot of people really <laughs> hate feet, and they, like, gag about <laughs> feet. And about I'm like, feet are freaking awesome. My feet are, like, ridiculous. I have, like, freaking toes that are like this long Ooh. like my toes are really long like like fingers. you could clamp on a branch like a bird. <laughs> i could get she, a branch and like she picks up some weird <laughs> shit on the floor <laughs> sometimes it's weird it's like a monkey thing like i could be like this probably not that sure ridiculous i'm gonna <laughs> switch the subject are you are you <laughs> please are you from indiana yes okay what part mm -hmm. where'd you go to school yeah um well i grew up in brownsburg oh you're a brownsburg yeah, kid so we're just 15 minutes away maybe 10 minutes away from each other well we were so rivals i avon know avon and brownsburg oh my God. Ah. yes yes oh that's crazy the brownsburg's such a nice town yeah it's nice uh, they have like their own purple street signs and everything they really got it together. That's a, yeah. That's a, I like I'm, that's I'm, I'm jealous. Thing to point the out. people are kind I'm of assholey, of though. They think they're, I mean, at least they what I was. They think their shit doesn't stink. Yeah. Not like Carmel, though. Oh, oh. yeah. Carmel be, Carmel be fancy. No, but I, I, I like Carmel. They're like, they were like the what, top 10 places for people to live in yeah. the like, world or. Uh, in America, like America. one of the hot spots. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. hell yeah, Carmel. Yeah, they got those big houses. Well, and really, nice. Indianapolis uh, too, on a on a larger mm -hmm. scale, is um, is consistently rated as a you know top place to live. 
Indies mm-hmm. come up so much since the old days, like Super Bowl. And and they're shooting films here. Uh, have you guys heard of the Mayberry Man movie? May- Mayberry Man, yeah. No. It's uh, uh, Court Hal and Stark Hal. They're brothers, and their dad was in uh, the uh, Mayberry. What's it called? The what was the show? Andy Griffith's show. Oh, and Ron, they're, Ron Howard. Yeah, yeah, and they're right. making a, a movie about um, the fest, the Mayberry Festival in Danville, and there's one in North Carolina, and there's oh. a script revolves around it, and they're casting a few players. Obviously, it's delayed because it was. Well, I actually threw like in a self tape. I sent in a self tape. I send in self tapes all the time. They're like, "Who's this? Why is she?" I'm like, "I like the role. Here I am. Fucking take me in." Have me, you know, <laughs> have me. I'm like super passionate, and I'm like, that's probably why I'm broke sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, I could do it for like the that. art. Well, that's, yeah, that's right. It's because it's, it's not about the money. I, you know how many I ups know. and downs I've had over the year. You know, mm-hmm. since 1997, uh, doing my own. I have done nothing since 97. Since or I've done nothing. I've done nothing. <laughs> nothing You've done since a lot. 1997, <laughs> but video production and TV production, and I wouldn't have it anyway. I, I mean, I just yeah. It's I like sometimes it's it. feast or famine for this type of thing, but you know, especially you know, act being an actress, being a singer, it's kind of it's almost the same thing there. It's like sometimes it is you like you're do starving, it for but the money. Yeah, you yeah. don't do it. For and the people money. don't understand that. Have you found that, Lisa? Which part? J- um, people that. Uh, family, unfortunately, is, yeah. is the. I feel like you probably have a, a really good support system, but um, some of my family, uh, close family, didn't appreciate, didn't understand, like what it was just about money. You know, they'd see me go through some rough times, like go out and get a real job. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, that has happened to oh, me oh, so yeah. many no, times. It's like believe in me. me. <laughs> oh, that oh, makes me more mad than saying yeah, some go get, get a real like, job. Do you know how many hours mm-hmm. I work? And still, I still do that because. I love it. I, I love doing this. I mean, yeah, you work constantly. And, and look at this place. It's it's built up. You don't. This doesn't just happen overnight, man. This is a, with years of experience and you know um, mm-hmm. knowing how to put stuff together. And you know, I'm in a good place now. I I love it. I love you're what doing I do. great. Job. I love it. I'm I love so it more now than than I than I did when I started. You know, I just love doing this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so back to my question. Did you experience that at all? Um, family members, Anyone friends, maybe saying you like, down? "Oh, why don't you get a real job?" I'm sure. Right? Uh, yeah, my parents were pretty supportive. They're like, e- awesome. have your plan A and also have your plan B. So co- I went to college and I was like, can They're I like, get if anyone can do it, with? baby, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've been doing art forever. Like, mm-hmm. I was like that kid that sat in the corner at my brother's basketball games and like drew pictures and like created books and stuff. And I was like, I want to be a fine artist, you know? Always creative. Yeah, I was like mm-hmm. Pee Wee's Playhouse kid. <laughs> and then, and then, and then I was like, but I also loved acting. Like, I would just sit in my room and like, um, do a bunch of scenes for movies, you know, that I liked. And I would just sit there and like play out the characters and stuff. That was me. Um, but yeah, they, they supported it, but they're also like, get a degree and stuff. And I was just like, get me the fuck out of here. Like, I want to go f- swim. Like I, I, ever since I was little, I always wanted to bust out and grow up. Like, you know, when you want to, when mm-hmm. you're like trying to dress older when you're younger oh, and like, yeah. I'm an adult now, even though you're still like 10, Yes, that was me. But no, they supported me, but there were times where like, well, maybe you shouldn't get a real job. So I've had mm-hmm. real jobs before, but I've been pretty blessed to like make it this far without having a, some awesome gigs. an odd career that doesn't make sense to who I am. I've always been able to kind of be creative and have jobs that uh, mimic who I am, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But awesome. yeah, I've heard that, hey, get a job. Even like my friends that have Emmys now, their their parents said the same shit to them. Or like, have a backup plan. That, well, yeah. that one always pissed me off. You need to have a backup plan. You're blatantly saying you don't believe in me right now, basically. But but they just don't want to see, like, people don't want to see you struggle who love you, I suppose. But right. if you're going to be an artist, you're going to struggle. Oh, unless I'm you're in. like a trust fund baby, which I know a lot of those. Wish I was. <laughs> But then I wouldn't be the Sips person I like was, Kermit. but still. <laughs> I wish I could just inherit a bunch of money and just keep everything that I've been through. Because, you know, some hardships really make people what they are. And I think true, if true. you take that away and, you know, it's just like, yeah. But if you acquire money yeah. after you've yeah. already, you know, become who you are, it's like, yeah, yeah. I know a couple trust funder kids that are really great people and they put their money towards really great things. things and causes. Mm-hmm. And I have a couple really good friends who have those. That's the main reason why I really, really want to be famous is because <laughs> I feel like it's the best way to like. At I least just you're admitting like, it. I know. David I Bowie. mean, a lot of people um, and it's morphed over the years. So I just kind of 
say like, yeah, I want to be really rich and famous. Yeah. And so people don't really understand my motives. And it's like, my motives is I do, you know, I could never compare ever to like Mother Teresa or some shit, but it's like, I want to help people. I was born to help people. I feel like the best way to do that is if, is to be really powerful, have a stance, you know, people viewing you so you can kind of, I just want to promote positivity. And with a lot of money, can you imagine how much you could really help other people? You Oprah! Know, you could, girl, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be making so many foundations. I'd be like, present under money chairs. for you money for you oh yeah yes you know and i always have been that type of person and it's like just oh you know money would just be so cool but yeah you know speaking of the money, money 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 lisa money. mason lee's instagram is money uh, <laughs> man if i had we followers need to work on my segues but if i had followers like renee it'd be real Everybody money follow. I, I literally woke up one day with um so many thousands of followers you told me that Someone i could like, never figure it out but i couldn't scroll like it was just one morning i literally had i don't remember what it was it was like ten thousand more fifteen thousand more followers They've gone down over the years. <laughs> like it used to be more, but now it's only like ten thousand. Oh, uh, that's but. no, that's good. That's like a good mark. Like in my industry, sometimes at an audition, they'll be like, Why "So how many followers have? do you oh have?" My God. Like I got asked that at this weird bikini thing I had to do. It was like they were they were casting for this towel company, and they had all of us <laughs> like drop our our trowel into bikinis. That was a weird one. I just didn't care. I go through these phases where I'm like, I'll just show up and see what happens, and <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit. That's how I you feel can't. about modeling, too. Like, I yeah. already know I'm the shit, so I just walk up in there like, the let's you go. Are. I'm She's six a model, foot. people. She is. <laughs> like, I've seen you work that runway. Thanks, girl. You You're, know. Good. I, You're good. You're good. Someone, her name's Pilar. Um, she's basically, like, the baddest, coolest oh. mother beep ever but she does runway coaching and she just told me you know something that made sense to me this is the way she teaches runway is that like you know you need to be walking how you walk every day it's, I walk every Whoa. day in heels yeah so it's like that's how you walk on the runway how you walk every day but you know you just got to be more sexy you got to feel yourself <laughs> um and so it's just like that made sense to me so when you're on that runway I love coaching like younger girls too how to better scared shitless they're like I love it. <laughs> it's like girl come back Come on, where's the cool bitch I know? You know what I mean? Like, like have confidence down that runway. Roll way. those shoulders back. Roll those shoulders back, and girl. L Lisa, you actually um, hosted a Midwest Fashion Week a few years back. No, I didn't know I that. Did. I did. Was... Speaking it. of the runway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think so that cool. was when I was the face of Indy, and I did that. Mm. Once the face right? of Indy, always the face. Ha ha ha. Basically, the face of Indy was an entertainment reporter for Wish TV and My Indy TV. I got crazy fun opportunities to interview local celebs, mm -hmm. uh, Hollywood type celebs, Ed and Sheeran, do char charities, all kinds of things. I had a yeah. blast doing it. It was like a That's year cool. contract, mm -hmm. but then they did away with that program, and now they have like Bastards. another entertainment reporter, which Because you cool. were the best. They were like, uh, we're not going to be able to beat that. Right. So well, I did make the most sales out of all the Hair faces. Flip. Oh, humble brag. <laughs> yeah. it. No, it was fun though. Like I loved it. I can't came up with my own show. My inter uh was it my entertainment minute and it was like a minute yeah. show about the the weekly celebrity gossip and I did it in the studio and that was really fun. But it just didn't carry on. They're like, just so you know, this is a year contract and there's nothing after this, so <laughs> don't, don't even attached. try. Wow. And it was like, well, shit, like I got really into it and I had my yeah. own show going and then they just cut me. Mm -hmm. wow. So and to like to add to that, I feel like that just made me think of something I tell my students. It's like in this business, which mm. I would I want to be and you know, a famous actress so bad as well, but I but music is more important to mm. me. It's like my life. I feel so you. I feel like I would want to be a famous musician and then go like cast me in all the shows and the movies and shit. But um, you know, it's like failing is so important. And, oh, and like man, and it's yeah. all there is mostly. Yeah. I can't all even the imagine time. just stamp denial 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 and it's like yeah. it over time it just kind of withers you but that is what makes you stronger and so i always tell people you know you really gotta have a tough backbone because it's constant denial and it does something to a person it makes you feel not good enough but the right type of person and it just feeds them more until they get that one role and boom girl you're gonna get it i already know uh, she's already getting I, it. i'm so, happy i'm so happy on that on that <laughs> note like because uh, I've I had friends that 
that moved out to LA I and then friends. moved back a, <laughs> a year friends. later. I had one once. friend once. <laughs> what is that? What is that like? Is it is that tough? Is it still tough? Um, you know, just doing the the casting calls and the injecting yourself. You just that hustle that you or clearly you have. It. You know, it is that. Uh, what's that like on a day to day? basis is it like tiring or is it like oh a momentum my ball god yeah it's like i'm working <laughs> it just never ends, i'm right? working all the time when it doesn't look like i'm working mm-hmm. yeah. like and i've dated guys too they're like why don't you like work more i'm like you don't see what i'm doing all day and all the emails and submissions and that is I'm something you out. should not be saying to me right now please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but i mean so it's like i'm always submitting all the time and always trying to make connections and work this out or send out that's an email really inspiring like, lisa just the fact that you're constantly doing that i always tell my students the really good ones I'm like look we got to get you a product and we got to get you sending this stuff to random people who knows like what Broadway um, director may see you this like know. you got to get your voice and that's what I want to do with myself I'm good at giving advice but also bad at taking my own advice so that's really inspiring yeah. that you're just constantly like, boom 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 like that's what I need I want to be doing that as well just sending 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 right oh god I had a fear for so long like Ugh, if I call or email I'm not I don't like to do all that but I've got to like also be my own manager so I have to pick up the phone or I have to make an email send something out and uh, I get a lot of rejections all the time but sometimes that's people part come of the, through. That's part of the job, Oh, my right? God, Nature yeah. Totally oh, part yeah. of it. I love in auditions when they're like, you're in the middle, like, right, you're like in character, you're there, and your nerves are all racked up. And then they're like, thank you. <laughs> and then that just, you know, I put that in my movie, Angry I know, Baker. I saw that. That's, yeah, yeah. that's real life right there. Like, yeah. I've had that so many times, and you just go, and I'm sure and you you've just, dealt with such you. rude asses, too, over just because, you know, some Hollywood superficial mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. you know, producers, directors, like, oh, God, I can only imagine just the shit well, you've been through. And like, I, and I would imagine a lot of it is just, it's not that they're necessarily necessarily rude, but it's like they're going through so many people. And they know what they like, want. We're, we're, we're not people. trying to waste time. They're yeah, just they like, know what right, they want. Next, they're looking for it. something specific. And that's, yes. that's also something to think of. It's not always it's not like about you. you. It's not about yeah. you. You're just a walking hanger just like with models. It's yes. like they're looking for something specific. If you're not it, you're not right for that part. Yeah. It doesn't mean it, you're not worthy of it, but yeah. it's just that's not the part in their mind or whatever, right? This this unless you're like, you. unless you're like super famous and they're like, well, we can turn Kate Blanchett into a yeah. boy. We can make we'll Kate dance. Blanchett a ninja. We can do <laughs> Kate Blanchett as a secretary or whatever. Right. You know, like casting is weird. And that's how, I mean, when I was uh, casting for my own film, I had visions of what I wanted mm-hmm. for each person. You like went in with it knowing kind yeah. of what the character yeah. wanted, well, was wi- supposed to be like. Exactly. And that's how writers are. And they all have their visions. And if you don't meet that vision, then... I mean, you can try to convince them, you know, by putting on a certain Hashtag outfit me. or a wig. <laughs> and I've tried to do that. Like, I always weasel my way in somehow or another. I'm like, what is this God gift, God given gift that I have where I'm just like, do you need uh, me? Yeah. Like, how can yeah. I? Like, and please. sometimes <laughs> it works because I had a friend who I won't name did that to me and like bothered me a few times. I and like the, the fourth time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, fuck it, let's do this or whatever. <laughs> so sometimes the bothering works because I swear people have so much on their plate. You have to s- kind of keep coming back, keep coming back, <laughs> just keep salting them, exactly. you know? Exactly. <laughs> Put a little sugar keep in there. Don't take no for an answer, people. Like, <laughs> keep <laughs> no, 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 salting keep them? salting. Oh, salt. Like salt, like you know, salt, salt pepper. Yes. Keep coming Season. back and seasoning them. That looks bad. Don't do that with your hand. Delicious. <laughs> this is what coronavirus has come to, cannibalism. <laughs> no, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing. and But, like, in the end, like, your friendships and your networks are who th- – that's who's going to come through for you, like, to mm-hmm. keep you going and keep yeah. you in shows and stuff. So, yeah, we're how, definitely, how, long you, how long have you been a permanent resident out there? Yeah, we're definitely going to have to come visit you is what I was thinking. Like. Well, I was there for, like, a couple years. Remember when I did my Alvin and the Chipmunks yes, role? Yes. And then I started YouTube, and then I left for a while, and then I went mm-hmm. back after The Face. Uh, so 2014. Six years. Okay. I've been yes, girl. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, we owe we. Owe, blah, 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 blah. Uh, why am I stuttering today? I'm like no, so hungover. You're I'm not. so hungover. You're good. <laughs> but anywho, like we always said, if we were gonna move, the next time we do move, it's gonna be to like Hollywood or you know California or something. But yeah, we're really I happy said that here for I now. Moved into this place, so. I know we're really happy here. We I love it. Yeah. And no, I'm I, kind I of have like I have this philosophy too. That's like, um, I'm gonna create irrefutable 
badass music videos that mm. that just that are gonna be crazy, just like really weird ideas. Like every single one's just gonna be like. Drugs. So and eventually, <laughs> I just feel like eventually, yes, it's all gonna be like feeling like an acid trip. Like every single music video. <laughs> Eventually, they ain't gonna be able to ignore me. You know what I'm saying? So I can do that from anywhere. I don't really you need no, to be in Hollywood. You. Exactly. You don't have to go to Hollywood. But I do. You can want do to your own. There, <laughs> you can go there. You can visit. Um, I have a couple friends who. Uh, one of them is on a Disney show ding, ding, ding. currently right now, <laughs> and they their home base is Indiana. They do self tapes and audition for their LA agent. They have an Indiana one too, but they do their self tapes and send them back to their LA agent. So they spend a lot of their time here. Mm -hmm. Now they get a place, um, they sublet a place when they're out there shooting and then they come back, but they made it work. Mm -hmm. That's living the dream right there. Yeah. Right? Just kind of, I'm sure it's so, I'm like, not sure I know it's so much cheaper here. Oh man. It's like, you Good gotta, God. yeah, you gotta have some <laughs> you fun. You said you lived in the butthole of Hollywood. It is. It's like, I live in Hollywood and they like deny Hollywood as an actual address. It's what? weird because it's, it's like, like Satan's Hollywood invisible is, corner <laughs> of awesomeness. You better believe it. <laughs> well put. Um, no, but Hollywood is is a part of Los Angeles. So when you're just like, say if you're writing a, a fan letter to me. No, I'm kidding. If my mom writes P.O. Box. If my mom sends me something, it says um, she puts Hollywood. You can, but it's technically Los Angeles because Hollywood isn't its own city. And I'm like, really? here we go. It I'm going to get political. Be. Is it no, not? I know. I but Hollywood is not West Hollywood. Is. So historical. Oh. West wow. Hollywood. Once you cross that line, it's like, oh, wow. It's like really nice. Mm -hmm. Like it's Boys Town. It's like eight mile. I it's went to like, a Goodwill uh, in freaking Hollywood once. It was so bitching. It, it was. I was like, Goyal. <laughs> they like, had everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. There's like so much cool stuff here. <laughs> but, they, but they need the tourism money from Hollywood for the city of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. That's the theory. So they're like, they've tried. People have been like, well, why don't we turn Hollywood into a city? Because that's why. Hmm. That's good to know. Los I Angeles. Know all right, so we're gonna we get we got some uh, photos queued up here. Uh, some oh, of yeah, the, some I, of which include some uh, behind the scenes and some uh, headshots. Shots we here, love so your headshots. We're gonna, There's we're a few. We're gonna roll those and feel free to. to yeah, talk I mean, I can't believe your freaking oh. headshot in your eyes. Who oh. created Whoa. you? Jesus, that's Joanna DeGeneres. That's Jared. Jared <laughs> Fix. That's your Chris eyes. Gettos. Why doesn't everyone cast you? That's it's like Peter Jesus. Boyko. That's Jared Fix. That's my movie. Anger what are we Baker. doing? Naming the photographers? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's a good little shout out. Uh, that was the show Dream Maker with Audrina Patridge yeah. up in Detroit. Uh, oh, that I was, love Ron Perlman. Said, I was like, I was like, that club was so sweaty. It was like in May at the race, and he was here. <laughs> I would expect Ron, Ron Perlman to be at a sweaty club. He literally <laughs> broke up like a fist fight at the club that night. That was Is crazy. He huge? Did he do it as yeah. Hellboy? Or? He looks really no, tall. he was just like he like got right in the middle of these two guys getting ready to go at it and tag. broke them up. And I was like, hey, at, right after I was like, hey, can I get a photo? I like what you just did there. Yeah. Can I get a selfie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. Oh, I um, love these. I love your new calendar, your pinup thing. So cute. Thank you. That's so iconic. Just rocking iconic, it. iconic pinups. They do pinup shoots for women, and they're fucking awesome. They make you feel so good when you're shooting, and you like mm -hmm. they bring out the beauty inside of you to shine on the outside. And the booty. That's so iconic nice. pinups. Iconic. You have to come out. You have to come out and shoot with them. Oh, I'd love to. Um, that was on After Buzz. I was on Maria Menounos' uh, company, After Buzz, as a host, and that was our Twin Peaks show. Ooh, and that's ooh. Tyler next to me to the left, and he was – we, and him and I log. worked. We were stand-ins, and I don't think he had a part, but I got his a part. Big <laughs> his big log. Twin He's Peaks silly. was crazy. Dirty John. Hey, Bravo TV. I mean, girl, you have now done it's on some cool-ish. Photo by Jared Fix. Jared Fix, Thanks, everybody. Jared. I love this photo so much. Iconic so pinups. So out of order. That's Coca an iconic Cola. smile. Thank you. Corey oh, Feldman! I, I, used, I interviewed Corey and I like reviewed his album a long time ago and we became buddies and he invited me to his parties like out in LA. Dude, no you, way. I can't talk about this. You, you, know, <laughs> you, know, you know when uh, when he came to Indy, yeah. we took him out um, during the during Limos. one of the shows, yeah. Whoa. Took him out to dinner and hung out How with them. We took him to uh, to Blue Nightclub yeah. where he, he was like, I want to go. I want to go in the middle of the people. And so, like, you know, we, like, so escorted crazy. him out to the middle of the people. He was just, like, you know, enjoying it. Like, the people were going nuts. But he was, like, really cool, was taking photos and signing autographs and stuff like that. So, yeah, we hung out with them. For, that was during a horror hound convention. Yeah. He was there for 
I don't know what it was for. Um, the He's night, friends with that guy that runs that. The, uh, okay. The night before, we took out um, Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman oh, Reedus. Oh, shit. Okay, oh, yeah, I've Norman got to, Reedus. I've, awesome. I've got to tell the story. Yeah. So Ride the, with Norman Reedus. Right before he – yeah, tell him, Joey. The night him. that we took out Sean Patrick Flannery, <laughs> he Norman Reedus. He got a text. He got a call. The, he got a phone call from his agent about being in The Walking Dead. Can you believe that? While we were Jason at was dinner. There. Whoa. And, and, but he was like, it's no it, big deal. It's funny because, yeah, he, he like kind of played it. He was like, yeah, like a you know, zombie. You know, this is like right before the zombie, the whole zombie thing he like took, took off. with that show. And he was like, yeah, some, you know, it's a zombie so, thing. Whatever. He would say it like <laughs> that Freaking too. Norman, Norman Reedus. He's just so cool. He's yeah. so I, cool. His new show is pretty tight. Like they were filming in Kentucky. It was him and Clifton Collins Jr. who I've interviewed before, but they just go and they ride and they like. That's the motorcycle one, right? Yeah, yeah it's cute. Yeah. It's I need totally to different. It. Oh yeah, yeah I, I remember seeing. That. Norman's cool. Oh man, Sons of Anarchy days. Ooh, <laughs> I didn't if know I, he was up in that show. He was on Sons of Anarchy, right? Wasn't he? Not that I know of. Wait, I'm thinking. Of, no, I'm just feel like he is because you're. No, I'm he thinking se- of. Yeah, he seems like a that kind of. Yeah, person but he should have been on Sons of Anarchy. He should be on every uh-huh. show, just like you. He's no, he's on awesome. Walking Dead. I just yeah. why yeah, do I Walking picture? Dead. I picture that's what I'm him talking about, the zombie in Sons yeah. of Anarchy. I don't know why. No, <laughs> Never yeah. mind. I, I, okay, I, that's at least like. He should be on it. Anyway, back to the photos. Oh, Corey. I love the Goonies, man. That's still my favorite. So this is the Emmys or the Oscars? That was the Emmys. Girl, that dress. Girl. Thank you. That that part was the craziest part, getting fitted for a dress and, like, figuring out what to wear to the Emmys. I was like, ah. Did you have to get invited to that? I I did. I went with a guy. See, this girl got it going on. Yep. He did not win that year, but he's won before. And it was crazy, like. The behind the scenes of the Emmys is nuts. Like when people don't get the trophy, they like walk straight to the bar to the <laughs> oh, lobby, that's shitty, and everybody's pissed. Like anybody who's not still sitting in the crowd is out of the lobby, starting Drinking. to drink. But the parties are crazy. Like the really? pre-parties and the after party and the governor's oh ball God, and the food and the celebrities. I mean, Ooh, I, I don't have care a question. How in the hell are we finna be like in the future? Like how are we finna pee? The future. In these pee? Grammys, pee. Emmys, Oscar to shows, pee? Oh girl, how God. do you pee? You because you know pee. you break you you drink you drink you drink you yeah. break the seal. Yeah. Now you screwed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had like these these uh, extravagant <laughs> porta potty trailers, Jesus. but like the steps were really narrow. The whole inside of it was really narrow. And trying to like hike your dress up without dumping it depending in the, toilet. the giant size Dude. of the dress. And too. after all the cocktails, you're just like. It, it's you, hard. People, there were so many like girls tripping and falling and dr- <laughs> drunk people. Acid. I mean, it was unlimited. Did you say acid? Acid. Tripping on acid. <laughs> well, you know, probably more than that. I'm everybody's sure. smoking weed and drinking out there. So, well, yeah. imagine whether you Sounds win always. or lose. Fun. Whether you win or lose, you're probably like, oh my god, I'm glad that stress is over with. Like, yeah. give me a drink. Everybody's partying no matter yeah. what. But if you mm-hmm. lose sooner than later, you're like out at the lobby. And I was just like, I'm. I was a date, so I was like. Yeah, you there, were a snack I, like, I just right had there. to be quiet, like, because it wasn't my <laughs> Emmy. I was just like, I hope you, I'm sorry, guys. Yes. Like, I re- th- but the show. I'd be networking, the- like, uh, let me find these different producers. Look yeah. into my <laughs> eyes. Look into these white crystal eyes. Cast me for your next role. <laughs> Kim Kardashian walked by. Like, <gasps> you couldn't miss that. Her let booty me- is so juicy. Dude, so her juicy. booty is so big. Like, her booty you could is so set, big. You could set a drink on her booty. And it was just like that photo that broke the internet no. with the oh. wine glass. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, Goyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she was, there were a lot of celebrities there. Like, I, I've, like, like all the my celebrities. brain is blurry right now of all the celebrities that How were there. How come people, but, some yeah, people bro, don't, don't yeah. like, some people, they like, diss they, it. It's rude. That's really messed up when you don't go to a show. Like, mm-hmm. if unless you're like if you're really mo- famous, your parent died or something, you should be at the Emmys or you yeah. should be at the Oscars. I think they snub it on purpose for different reasons or they're like different managers big like stars. let's just not go this year because you know so and so's probably gonna I don't know I yeah. mean there's all kinds of theories I'd different go. things I'd be all about it. Oh my god, what it was day. fun. You know. It was One fun. Day. It was cool. The red carpet's obviously like really fun, and everybody's like trying to get their pictures. And then the security's like, "Keep moving, keep moving." I'm like, this is why we're here. Like, we're here to be on <laughs> the right. red carpet. I will punch you. I'm yeah, so good yeah. At All right, next photo. Yeah. That'd be, oh, I oh. love your hair. I love this photo. You're so oh, cute. Oh, thank you. That's when I was born. My cousin's wife, Liliana, took that photo when we were down in Florida. 
and uh, do you we remember were, like, the circumstances to around every photo? Yeah, that it's was amazing. yeah, and I was like, do you do the kids like any babies. commercials or like Maybe. anything? Like, girl, you need to be the face of like oh. L'Oreal uh, and like Maybelline. You, you can only funny. probably pick one, girl. You have so your skin so Dude, clear. Commercials, so cute. commercials, so funny right now. Like, uh, it's all Is about it ethnic, like ethnic and diversity. Oh and, like, yeah, mixed and put stuff. a lesbian in there, and it's good. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. Like I'm like I'm diverse. No, I'm like, like super, I'm, I'm say, super wait, Eastern European. Did you say European. put a lesbian in there? Is that yeah. what you said? Yeah, I, don't think I mean, that, no, I love it. I would have to cut my hair. I no, love it. No, no like, it's no, all no, about no, no. like the. So, so my friend, um, Allison, sorry, I'm name dropping you, bitch. Hey, <laughs> we're, Allison. Be, we're besties. We're like great friends. Bitch. She had an audition and she put in for, she was like, oh, lesbian. Like, so you call up your friend, you're like, let's show up to this audition. You submit you and your friend or whatever. Are you cracking open a cold? What, what, is, what is, is that noise? She's got a cooler I was like here. listening and yeah. like nonchalantly. She's got her that own cooler that. over Subtle. here. Wow. So Allison's <laughs> like, <laughs> her and her friend went out for like this lesbian role. Mm-hmm. And they're like, gotta be real lesbians. And we're actors. And now they're always asking for these re- I could be real a real lesbian if you need me to be. Uh, I for know. a certain Girl, let's go. I'll do I'll do whatever part you, you need. Oh my me. god. Six <laughs> feet. Six <laughs> feet. And we are that's six a whole feet, right? Lot it does we, right I touched there. your arm though. Shit. I cut mean, that out. That's cut funny that out. though. You said you gotta be a real lesbian. We can tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they like started asking questions to them, I guess, and, and they were like, So how long have you been together? And like they were like oh. And they were really faking grilling. it because yeah. they were just trying to be And Allison was just like, I couldn't t- take it and I didn't feel like messed like up. It's like trying to get citizenship or something. You're faking a marriage. It's like they really want that real Role, they want like, that in the mm-hmm. casting. It's called mm-hmm. like real people casting, and they're always asking for shit on these casting sites. Like, why would a paraplegic firefighter? <laughs> oh my what, god! You know what I'm saying? I'm just messing around. Like a random combination of whatever they're yeah. asking for, and they like needs to be real. And I'm like, why are you asking us actors? Then go go somewhere go else. Go find them. Like it, it That's really like the actors on off. like uh, American Horror Story, like oh, yeah. where they're really tall, you know, the carnival one or whatever. Yeah. I don't know if you watch the show, but yeah. you know, where they're just like, you know, either like there's that one lady that's super, super tall. And different yeah. people have obviously this like, and th- what Danny DeVito, whatever little guy, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like character actors. Yeah, certain that works. Just, they're just them. They're so, yeah. they're just different. Ooh, I think that's fun cool. fact. Yes. Since mm. you mentioned American Horror Story, Love Lisa, show. you know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> Who, which part? Ryan or yes, Ryan. Yeah, what's happening? Do you know Andy by <laughs> yes. the way? Yes, <laughs> so you know Ryan's mom. Yeah, you guys are cute. Actually, you guys are friends. Yeah, we're forever. actually we're actually talking about getting together. She's like, I'd love to get together. And, she's you know, so cool. Stuff. Yeah, she's awesome. But she's we did. She's a writer yeah, herself. Yeah, writer. We did a we did a thing on uh, one of my past TV shows, uh, Real Scene TV. Which oh you know, one of the snap! I missed and, that. Yeah, that was um, I forget who did that piece. I think that was Amber. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, we went to her house and talked to her about the book, and we did another mm. thing where she was part of a panel and with some other. Uh, uh, Mario Puzo. Um, oh yeah, Mario. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so she's she's really cool. And this is the uh, like the director of American the, the, Horror Story, or th- this is this is the um, so Andy Murphy is the mother of Ryan Murphy, mm-hmm. creator, co-creator, I guess, uh, of uh, American Horror Story. Man, oh, she's God. she's right here. In, I just in yeah, Naples. she lives here. He went to school show. here. Really? Ryan. Yeah. Such a creepy show. And I just watched it for the second time by myself. I do that. I watch shows over again because I'm like ADD and I like miss things. But I watched it and I was scared as shit at first. Like, I'm like, why did I start this over again? We watched it together. We always watch shows together. But I, you know, that was but like last year or two years ago but I watched it again by myself. I just finished it a few days ago. And that I love that show, man. Yeah, There's so many so of them good. now, right? They're like on season seven or something, uh, and then eight, he's like, yeah. eight, I yeah. think, is on Netflix. It's coming out soon, yeah. right? Or yeah, and then he's got Into the Ratchet world. coming out, which I what did stand and work on that Ratchet Nurse Ratchet from <laughs> One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. It's uh, a prequel, ooh, and it's gonna Ratchet. air on Netflix. They haven't even that had dude any is creative man. Ratchet's like, crazy. Wow. He directed the first two episodes of that one, so, That's so cool. I got to work with him on that. He's uh, quite the director. He's like the busiest guy in Hollywood right yeah. now. He's like That's awesome. Yeah, so anyway, he had to put um American Crime Story on hold and whatever else he's got going on. So we we're all sad about that. But yeah. you know, everybody's out of work, you know. It's like I had like five projects. Like five projects. And like you said like earlier, once you stop it, it's kind of worrisome in like yeah. what, for what you do. Yeah. It's just like, no, we need to push through. We need to get this done. Yeah. If we don't get it done, now, I don't know if it's ever going to get done. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like coming back to work is going to be a whole thing too mm-hmm. with, you know, the restrictions and we'll probably make people sign writers to, you know, be. Oh my God. You know. I'm worried for the aftermath of this. Like. 
I don't know if we even hit our peak yet. I I don't know yet. Is the peak of the coronavirus like happening? I don't know. I don't know. It's like two weeks ago. It was supposed to be, but yeah, we we had like seven hundred more deaths today than or yesterday. I mean, just what is going to happen after everything? Like when we're allowed, when the states start. Oh, in, like individual states start opening up again and then it's just like oh what's gonna happen you know what I mean like you said it's gonna be monitored you know certain things it's really weird it's really scary the crowds that's gonna be the thing that's gonna take the longest to get back to and no one's gonna be like hugging like I'm such a hugger what am I gonna freaking do like I hug everyone and I'm so nice and I'm like I shake everyone's hand. I'm constantly like, I'm just very when, touchy. When Lisa arrived today, Ooh. we're like, so we had to make an agreement, like go to like camp. You know, like, I, I know. <laughs> it's like I walk towards you. Like, are we like, hugging? What are we doing? Hug Ooh. me. But it's like, what are we doing? It's like it sucks not being able to like just be just a friendly, touchy, feely person like I am. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, so. uh, it's great Ugh. for the introverts, but you know. Yes. I know. I was They're already like, like yeah. at the grocery store. I never liked someone like breathing on my back. There, I was like, you better back up. It's back really up. weird because I'm like that too. I'm like two different types of way like i'm really yeah. huggy but i'm also like ew this doorknob like i never understood yeah. why we have really? to touch doors and open it like can know. we not just wave our hand and it's like they're talking it about really that. annoys me that there's like, a conversation about open that. Like, really? doors flinging open for after <laughs> like a, wave post it. corona <laughs> Post My corona. dream will yeah. be post corona. <laughs> right, let's talk about this photo. What is it? This is uh, this is album art. Oh yeah, um, Joe. Misunderstood. Fucking, I forget his last name. And what song oh, is this? Oh oh oh. Y'all, um, follow That's... Lisa on Spotify. She's got some great songs on there. Oh thank you. And follow her on YouTube. Follow her on Facebook. Give her a like. Oh, and I mean, this girl is on fire, literally. Like, I can't <laughs> even. Thank I, you. I wrote this I'm song, um, and then I had Eric Schrader and Conrado Pesonato. Conrado Pesonato is like this Brazilian slash. And he was a neighbor of mine and a mutual friend, and he played on this. He plays on the guitar solo coming up. Dun, dun, dun. But, um, it almost sounds I like a like, classical guitar or something. But I, acoustic I first. Acoustic. But yeah, I was like, I want it like this because I could. I can barely play. I can play like three chords, and I'm like, I want it like this. Dun, 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 dun. And then he, um, he played it, it for me. And then Don't I don't you love when musicians it. do that? You're like, this is what I want, and they're like, okay. That's weenie, weenie, exactly weenie. what I love. Um, because I'm not. I haven't got. I just can't stick with guitar. Like I have one, and I'll play it once in a while, but I can't. You every should day let me is teach you, you a piano. I should. I can teach I you in 15 minutes. I have a gift from God. I bet you do. I've seen those fingers that work. It's, e- <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy. Like some the way I explain it, basically, I think it's different than like most people. So I mean, it's just very like okay. It's just like oh, I get that. So and guitar, I'll help you with guitar too. I mean, maybe we could do some like FaceTimes. You do you have a guitar at your? Did you bring? Yeah, it? my dad plays. So okay. So he's yeah. got he's got like five oh, guitars. Your dad so. plays, huh? Yeah, he does. He does. Oh he my does. gosh! And speaking of your dad, yeah, my ah! my dad is where I got my so called gifts, if you want to call them, or talents <laughs> from. My dad um, is a musician himself. It's crazy, like and my yeah. <laughs> nice lead up, you guys. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know if you know where we're oh going. Oh my with god! This, what is that? What is that? Just, yeah, that photo of yeah. that record. <laughs> that record. I'm not on that shot yet. Hold on. Um. What so that? that's a that's a cover photo yeah. for a uh, single called Copper Penny. Hold but on. um. Copper Penny. Yeah. So right. no, my dad was like uh, in a local band called the Ice Band, also known as Zuckus, back in the day here in Indy. And they used to play all around. Um, so if you're like nice, maybe in your fifties and your sixties or seventies, you might have heard of that band. I guarantee you the Johnson Brothers from the Pop Machine know them because oh. they were kind of like semi-famous in the nineties. Oh. Um, called Wonder Drug. So I oh, guarantee you, Wonder they, Drug. That sounds familiar. They were like a rock, which is what Monofiction turned into, which is the band I'm in now. So it's like oh. it's the same songs Here's and everything. The proper, but here's the proper. Yeah. Thing. So, so tell us about this. So tell us about your so, dad. Yeah. So in um, the good news so what's your dad's name my dad's name is where'd you get Jim, those icy jimmy eyes from? lee jimmy lee jimmy lee um my dad and my mom it's like a straight down the line kind of greenish blue down the middle of really? my dad's I wonder got where green you got your my eyeballs from not to be like creepy like talking about your nobody eyes all the time, has but. my exact color but if you go to my that family reunion like my mom's side everybody's blue it's like Fr- Bro, I french can't. and polish people it's like your eyeballs are so Stepford pretty children like Thanks. I thought I had pretty eyes. Girl, you eyes is like beautiful. It's so white. Thank They're like you. light blue. Thank 
you. I like They're to play so zombie right. roles if I can. I'm available for those and zombie roles. And you recently roles. did. With eyes, with eyes like I, the yeah, sea. But I, do sorry, I'm I do zombie you. stuff. Uh, I do zombie stuff. <laughs> I do zombie stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, the Ice Band is my dad's band. Of, it's like him, Mike Saligo, and Rich Strange and some other guys. But those are the two guys he still talks to so the like most. Currently, okay. currently, so, this so, is so they had a, a 45 they put out some years ago by this Chicago record company called like Toya Records. And cut to 40 years, 50 years later, wow. this record winds up in the hands of this guy named Lance Baresi, who owns Permanent Records, and he is in L.A. And, like, I didn't know this was all going on until after the fact it all happened. But then Lance and this guy named Daniel Hall, who is uh, the owner of Writing Easy Records, they're like, they have this uh, compilation called Brown Acid. And it's these songs that they've, these found songs from the 70s and 60s that they put on a compilation every season, like spring and fall kind of thing. And they both came across this 45 and they both like liked it. And it was my dad's song, Running High, and a song called Catch You. And they had a conversation about it, funny enough. They both had the record all the way out in LA, 40 fucking years later. And then... They like contact my dad's bandmate Richard Strange, Dick Strange is his uh. name. <laughs> That's my papa's he's name. He's so dope, Dick Strange. Uh, no, minus the Strange. He's a killer photographer too. He's like shot for Time magazine and everything. Nice. Um, so they're all like grown up, and it's years later, and they're like, "Hey, what's this? Uh, what's this forty five? What's the song?" And they they're like, "We love it." Uh, cut to they take the song um, "Running High" and put it on the Brown Acid compilation a few months ago. And then also Daniel, the owner of the record company, is like, we want to, like, release your album that was never released. So there's a full album that my dad did that was, like, up in an attic for 40 years at, like, Mike Saligo's house, the drummer's house, for years just, like, getting dust. And Mike's, like, one day he's like, oh, I found it. Like, oh, cool, that's <laughs> fucking great. They had it digitized, and by the time that Daniel and Lance found the record that was digitized and ready to go, like, and they're like, rarely bands actually have all this ready from the 70s, right? Like, They'll just find an old dusty record and that's the end of it. But like my dad had it all like sent away and digitized and remastered. And then they like signed my dad to, uh, so so it's delayed now. It was gonna come out in this month, but now it's coming out like a couple months from now. So mm-hmm. it's the full album that's coming out, the Ice Age. So it's gonna be for sale on uh, crazy. Easy Rider. What's this? Say? I thought it was Writing Easy. I don't easy know why. Easy Rider record. But it's actually, a re- re- because the movie, he had to flip it around. It's Writing Easy Records. Oh, yeah, the little, that's the actual name, but that's icon right there yeah, but Writing Easy. Yeah, but they're like mm-hmm. such a dope label. That, oh, I mean, yeah. whenever you're ready to put your stuff out, mm-hmm. you should totally send it to Daniel. They're like they're like musicholics. Is that even a word? Musicholics. It is, it is <laughs> now. <laughs> Jinx. So anyway, they, they they put that they're putting the album out, and I'm like really proud of my dad and excited. It's so and cool, I'm like, babe. Yeah, I love that. He, it's like a it's crazy. It's what a crazy story. I bet you have really cool. You can get discovered I mean, anytime. Music, exactly music is so timeless like, yeah oh man yeah. I love it as long as you're not doing some auto-tune shit you'll be fine mm-hmm. so it's like as long T-Pain. as it's like <laughs> timeless and classic I feel like it can it can fly whenever mm-hmm. that's the thing about it and I have this like opinion too on music um, that the generations change and with it music changes so that's why we've had different eras of music you know like blues rock and just different and it's, it's evolved 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 and then every I feel like every two or three years maybe less than that the music changes and evolves so um something that i've always believed in is like i want like i want to create a genre that i want i want i Veruca. want universe i want <laughs> what's her name veronica group or whatever uh, from like the she's like veronica i Mars. want a golden egg oh yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. little bitch the blueberry Wonka. bitch <laughs> yeah that blueberry bitch she got blueberried <laughs> daddy i want daddy i want daddy, daddy. <laughs> yeah but yeah i'm gonna i want to create the a new genre rock pop so rock. And that's not out there i mean it probably is but i just feel like i, I just want to bring rock back so bad rock it, and roll yes. but yes but rock it's just is like oh, fucking never died God. what are you talking I know, about it's not died but i just kind of want to change and my songs aren't conventional so i believe in every single one of them like i'm obsessed with them i love them it's a shame i haven't showed them because it's like i have a big head about it. it's like okay maybe to some i'm not it's doing work i like. know my hair's so big <laughs> but it's like i'm i'm Her born to really write songs i'm small. i'm yeah. still writing I know. I have like my head so tiny and my hair is so big. See the wisdom. Oh, see the symbol. Oh, yeah, two oh. inches of a rock. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that much different. The okay. little hair on that is so adorable. Like I can't believe you made this. It was sticking up. I love the hair. Like, it's like spotted you. pink and white. And she's like, yeah. 
It's oh, just wait, it's so cute. And here's really your friend. Cute when I look what is it? So, God, so I almost Christian thought I Sebastian. saw Ron Jeremy when I turned around. I was like, ah, you oh, don't have that photo. Up. That's coming up. Please soon. don't show the any Ron. I never oh, published sorry. those. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that yeah, that was it when I used I'm to write for that. Story. Yeah, like, uh, dude, that was the first time. He looks I seen. met Corey, and that was at The Doors, the band The Doors, you know. I've loved a, The Doors. A, an unfamous guy called Jim Morrison. Uh, uh-huh. They were having a party. It was, like, for his birthday. It was, like, for what his, would have been one of his birthdays, and I can't remember the year. But but we, our cake shop that I used to work at, Cody and me, Cody, we I made a – sorry, when I, when I turn away, I realize that I'm away from the microphone. Yeah, sorry about okay. that. That's okay. Um, we, met, we, we met Corey that night at the the doors party and like ray manzarek was there robbie krieger i think that just the two of them were there and they were just like discussing the days of the doors and i was just like like you should have seen me the whole time i was just like (laughs) it was a barney's beanery where uh the notorious fight happened between janice joplin and jim morrison and there was like an area. There was she a probably booth. smacked his ass. I, I'm in the sure, face. <laughs> but they had a fight there or whatever. And there was a that we like we knew where it was and everything. Now there's like a pool table there, if I am thinking correctly. But at the time there was a booth there. Mm-hmm. That is so epic. You could though. feel it though. Like yeah, yeah I don't like know. I felt yeah, it was Are weird. Are you empathic as well? Somewhat. Yeah, I try not to be though because it's too taxing. It's, but like yeah, but I'm yeah. the same way. I'm mm-hmm. the same way. Like yeah, I feel like the energy. Things. Energies can like. People, other people's energies can pull it out of you and take it away from you if you're not For careful. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I just felt that about you. It's like I knew. Sometimes people come to me, like students' parents, and they're like, you're empathic. And I'm like, well, I don't really like to brag on it, but yes, now that yeah. you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, it is kind of weird to talk about. And, you know, some people are like, I am, you know, they just go on and on and on about it. But it's like, eh. I was definitely born with it for sure. Yeah. I could just tell that you kind of have that feel too. So, I mean, and mine's kind of too like reading people energies like you, like you just said. So, yeah. (sighs) Don't you love when you're like, see, I was right about that person when someone didn't see it. I'm like, I told you. (laughs) Girl, I knew it all along. Yeah. I I knew it from the beginning. But you got to give people the benefit of the doubt and you have to go, well, I might be wrong about them. So I'm going to give them a chance. Like Mm -hmm. I'm all about fucking chances. Too many chances though. Yeah, me too. Too many. Woo. Aren't we all? I love it. No, good, not everybody. I some people are some like people nailing are just, the coffin. Bye. I know. Some people right. really are. And I think that it's almost like, not like a, uh, I don't know. Something's wrong with people like that because, I mean, humanity is so fickle and like we're humans. Like we're capable of great and awful things. And I think humans are just, they deserve some chances. You know what I mean? Like with your partner and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I've been lucky. Jason's been so good to me and stuff. And like, and it's you know <laughs> speaking baby. of he's so sweet like i'm literally so lucky and so it's just i like to give people chances too i mean it's what are you gonna do it's not really in our nature to be just like my bitch you know what i mean which i have some, some, I have some people like that like my my best friend is so cutthroat oh, and she's got, funny that's good. that's good you have one though i mean it's it's messed up though because she's yeah. just like Go die, bitch. Yeah, and they, <laughs> they, like, they forget about you too. If you get on the wrong side, oh yeah, you're you're, you're nothing. With. I'm like that is actually cool because it's like yeah. they must not have to like they worry don't care. about they don't all care. Of the attachments that come along with like being, being a human, being right. compassionate and stuff like that. Being a non forgiving person, that's rough, let me tell you. I know, it's like it's you better stone to forgive. Cold. Yeah, it's better like, to forgive and forget and God bless you, move on. Mm-hmm. Like you were a stone cold bitch. You bitch. <laughs> I wish nail I was in the coffin, nail in the coffin. Like, do you ever nail. wish that like you was just kind of stone cold yeah, there sometimes? I've tried. I look definitely stone cold there, yeah. but I love that show that photo is so pretty. Look I think where did into I do the future? <laughs> I literally can't. That was like shot at at um look by at them Shane, eyes. Shane I think Shane Russick. Oh, he yes. ran a um actors workshop where you would pay to read in front of casting directors and he was also like i got this other deal if you pay 50 bucks i'll shoot you in this parking garage shoot you some headshots for like five minutes <laughs> there's all these crazy deals like that out there yeah. like wow. i'll give you headshots for this or you do this you because know you know that's like, how the casting couch it, came about i think <laughs> the casting but thank god <laughs> that's dwindled down i mean those oh. headshots cost money i know oh if photographers god. charge an arm and an ass leg I love that one. I'm not gonna lie, like I, I don't absolutely ta- love. I don't this like one. to talk about myself, but but iconic pinups <laughs> knocked said, it out of the park. Like, and they're based they, in Hollywood. Yeah, and obviously. they have two houses. These two women, um, Carol and uh, Carol, Carol Baskins. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Carol Baskin. That bitch, that? Carol Baskin. It was Carol <laughs> and Carol Sh- Cheryl. I don't know. Just go look at iconic pinups. I like it already. They, Carol and Cheryl. Yeah, they, <laughs> uh, fuck. But you Sorry, can tell the quality. The you but, can tell the quality of the yeah. photo. I mean, it's great. I mean, what they're doing with the pinups, it's so classy. It's so classy. Like, it's it's not too revealing, which I wouldn't mind if you it was. You can. But it's you up can, to you how right. you want to do it. It's always been a hard Personal line for comfort. me to cross. I don't know if yeah. you've ever had to yeah. deal with this. Yeah. But me being a teacher and stuff, it's hard for me to be like, you know, like, I'm always, like, again, with the rock rock and roll thing Mm -hmm. i want to be like the first rock star of this generation there hasn't been really any rock stars since the freaking like 80s 90s or not even 90s it's pink 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 is pop rock i could send her sort of she's pop rock for sure but i don't know like a pat benatar i'm talking like a freddie mercury yeah exactly like joan jet pat benatar like you just need to get the right representation you already have it i just need to go i I have put myself in a cage um purposefully almost i have refused to release any of my stuff and I'm just kind of I'm really getting over it. You need to copyright so. everything before you release it, though. You know, I know that, right? So, and I'm about to release a That's book, c- so a big ass book. What? Yeah, I have like um, thirty, almost thirty books full of lyrics and poems, and so I'm gonna. I love that. I'm gonna compile them all. Have, you probably don't know, but Sh- Shel Silverstein. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't know because like what about him? A lot of people don't know. So you know how he did a big ass book of poems? He's her neighbor. Right? Yeah, he's her neighbor. Where is well, Shel like, Silverstein nah, now? Nah, your uh, neighbor. I'm talking I, about your neighbor. He Lisa. probably. The man, <laughs> where is he now? I've got na- a lot of neighbors. Let me Girl, tell you. Girl, you already know. Like your neighborhood probably full of famous ass motherfuckers. I got some crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could like. And I could just. Stories. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Facebook is for the family. I need Instagram all your is stories. For the friends. Isn't it weird well, how like a, different social needs yeah. sites you post different things? Like my Snapchat, like, I'm yeah. posting like crazy stuff basically. Yeah, and then yeah. like my Instagram, I'm like man. And then my Facebook, I'm like Praise hello. Jesus. I'm an amazing person. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I told my, my mom, like, I will try not to cuss tonight, but I cannot make any guarantees because that that's, that's, that's who I am. Yeah, my mom's Sorry, a Jesus Nancy. freak. I am too, but um, I just expect, express myself different. And you Joe know, Rogan does it. It is hard to not be able it. to cross that line. It's something I've struggled with. Like, I yeah. am. I mean, for first and foremost, I want to be a like a world influence. You know, I want to be famous, but I feel like. If I could truly be myself, it would be hilarious. I could be one of those comedians that a lot of people would hate, but they, but it'd be funny though. If I just splurged at the mouth, girl, it would be so bad. But I can't do that. <laughs> you know, um, if I could really just know, be like, no, bleep, bleep, you have bleep. to. That's the best. Co- those are the best know, comedians that to. I've ever known. Are the ones that say whatever the fuck they want. I know. And some of them do get grilled. Like there's a couple of them out there that, that have been just get grilled, thrown under the table, but. But other than that, like it's been hard for me to find that. what I am, and well, you're the voice. What I want to like, do, you, when who you I want to be. But when you say those things, you're the voice for people that are thinking it, but they're afraid to say it. Right, a lot exactly. of people are afraid and to speak their And there's power mind. in that. Like we Amen. Were talking, there's power in being just straightforward, honest, and oh. just being who you are. <laughs> And I just, I feel like I'm almost jealous. I'm not a jealous person at all, as Jason. I have like, I have like a opposite of jealousy problem. Like, I'm just like, be you. I don't even care. I love you so much. But um, like, I do kind of feel jealous towards people that are just like them. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, I'm yeah, me, yeah. Like but, Gaga. I, but I'm Lady, Lady Gaga. Yeah, I mean, the people that can just be like, bleep, 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 and just say whatever they want all the yeah. time. And it's like, that must be so freeing just to say and do what you please, whatever you want. You know what I mean? So I've always I had agree. this kind of filter on me because mm-hmm. I do want to be something that, like, younger kids, like, once I do get famous, I LOL, see. I want to be, like, this kind of rock star, figuresque, which I feel that I am, person that just doesn't have to be, like, you know, like, on drugs all the time and like naked all the time and stuff like that it's like and i love that stuff i don't mind it at all and i love the people that that do that and like the you know the the stars that do that i don't care i don't care about it but it's just it's not necessarily what i wanted for me you don't have to be that you can still be a rock star be whatever it is you want in the spotlight without having to like get naked right that's a misconception now like that's called selling out in my opinion Mm -hmm. and hey what's wrong with selling out nothing if you want to like it like daenerys like right like oh my god how would you turn down that role like Like, all right we're gonna give you like body double we're gonna give you 10 seasons and a million dollars an episode but you have to do full frontal okay I, audi- I auditioned I for a thing and they were like by the way there's going to be a sex scene and they sent me like the storyboard of how the sex scene would go and I was like really studying it and I like we'll talk I talked to some of my girlfriends about it and like some of them are like don't do it and then another girl's like you'll just wear pasties and like a 
you know what a merkin is or like nude underwear mm-hmm. a merkin is like a fake it's like a bush over your private part <laughs> <laughs> so it just covers the essentials i guess i haven't worn one before but and i was you know, like sex eh. scenes like so they you did go. that scene without one i that. didn't end up getting the part which is fine Whatever it was, it wasn't meant <laughs> to be. I usually don't. What's the like, name of that movie? Let me just no, 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 no. Like, but you know, they're not even doing things. it. I mean, they're just rubbing and making it look like. Mm, it. I don't know. There was a rumor that what was that movie with Angelina Jolie and, and was it Antonio de Banderas? Ooh, where they, they there was there were rumors like sin, sin something. Mm, I if I was an, like Bunny. a famous actress, I'd be like, let's go all the way. I, like, there and were just rumors make it, that she did have sex with him on the actual movie i mean damn, but I don't these know. actors and actresses they are doing it like Clo- well well you know they get, close i the admire set. them for it yeah they close the set and like it's only essential crew in those kinds of situations so mm-hmm. they'll just be like the camera guys and, and they film that's it delicately it. yeah and, duh. well i right. mean it depends what kind of set you're on and now since the the me too movement happened there are actual people who have been trained and hired that come in on a set and direct the sex scenes Really, I forget the name of it, but there was a memo that went out a few months ago about that. Hmm. I've always so, wondered, which like, is cool because Westworld. Called, it's called PETA. Yeah, <laughs> but the P stands, stands for, for PPs. P- penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Westworld, like they turned it up so bad turned because it. turned it. I oh, mean, Westworld's there was good. like all kinds of nudity flying around. They're like, must be okay with an orgy scene, six hundred dollars <laughs> base rate. You don't get like day player contract, but they give you like six hundred bucks to start, and then you make overtime. And I knew some people. They're like, fuck it, I don't care. I was just standing there like a fake robot with my shit hanging out. <laughs> Like, I know people who did it, and I saw my friends. I was like, oh, my God, because it's a small community. After you're there, you realize, like, oh, there's so-and-so who's in that. Oh, I know them from this. Like, so how does that feel straight. to be a part to, of that community? I get to be completely naked in a room with Dandy Newton. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 for real. And there were people, like, playing dead on the ground, like, totally nude, and then they'll say cut, and then there's someone who comes and gives you a robe, and you put a robe on. Crack yeah. that shit open. <laughs> 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 uh, oh whoa paintball that was my initiation into the face of indie job um that was the former face daniel mcconnell she's on you, you can pissed. see her no i won the paintball competition uh, like i cappy. smoked it like I I, my dad so sold bad. guns when i was little i know how to shoot a gun oh. which doesn't work out in la but um daniel mcconnell she's now i think she guests on pet pals with patty spitler on mm-hmm. wish and uh, she's a great host. Danielle is the shoot. She's also, we're also, do you know Talent Fusion, the local agency? She looks agency? cool. Like, she's just about to be real with you or something. Like, what's up, girl? She, yeah, she had to pass the torch to me. It's really hard when you have to pass the torch to someone else. Like, my job was great. It's over. Now it's your turn. Yeah, that's kind of so. if you just, like, run in the opposite direction with the torch? <laughs> like, no, it's mine. 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 She was so mine. cool, though. And, like, we had every time that the face like I forget who won after me to be honest I don't know who took over I can't remember sorry but um you have to like do all these competitions to get the part there's like a voting and then there there was paintball and some other stuff you had to do like to get in the running to, I to get paintball. the part I did too. Actually, yeah. We should all go. Maybe. I know. Oh shit! Corn. Uh, cor- coronavirus. Quarantine. Shoot, quarantine. Shoot That's what I was trying to say. Shoot him from six feet oh, away. Oh man! The one time I went paintballing with my brother, it was a disaster, and I had like, ju- I bruise freakishly yeah. easily. I had like so many effing bruises all over my whole body, and they were like this big because you know it gets like bigger. yeah. And I mean, I was a badass, but Jason hit uh-huh. us with that story of you like smashing ass when you were. Uh. Um, paintballing, smashing <laughs> ass. <laughs> what? Uh, I Damn. deny. I deny the story. I no, he was like, like he basically was like paintball king, and oh, he like comes long, around I mean, the side, just, and he was like, stories. "Stop <laughs> googling me back there." <laughs> um, <laughs> we see that screen. I, you can't. Oh shoot, you can't see that, can't you? Didn't you like come around the side and like done wiped out yeah, a whole team? I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> tell the story real quick. Well, no, that's this isn't the time. Anyway. There's okay, another, what's this? Yeah, this uh, is from the pinup yep, as yeah, well. Again, yeah, okay, we that was those. fun. They're like, get up on this <laughs> cabinet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Angry Baker. Angry that's, Baker. So that is this my is movie. out. This wasn't your first, this wasn't your directorial debut. Yeah, was I was would it? say that's my solid directorial cool. debut. Nice. I mean, Dang, you know, because all the YouTube stuff, I mean, you can count it if you want, but it wasn't like. I have. This is on Amazon. It's for rent. It's a, you know, it's 20 minutes, but, you know, it's not a feature. It's not a super short. So. So, um, what, so what was that like? What was the uh, you know the difference between what what did you like most about directing and 
Yeah, good choice on the. Don't get stuck. Yeah. There's, Don't there's get Renee stuck. sneaking off to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Karen. Somebody you broke the seal. Oh you'll, my God. The walk of shame. So now it's just me and you, Jason, while just she's gone. You and I. Now that she's gone, let's talk Finally, about Renee. That's right. <laughs> Oh, so many stories. Um, Angry Baker. Yeah. Uh, yes. Did you like directing? Yes, but acting at the same time was so crazy. Yeah. You've you've to juggle so, juggle so much uh-huh. again. Me and my metaphors or whatever <laughs> analogies. <laughs> um, yeah, Angry Baker. That's that is a story based on one of my first jobs in LA, working at a bakery. Oh yeah, you mentioned that earlier. Yeah, oh, okay. uh, me and my friend Cody, who I call my brother, he's also a writer and he's got his own books that just came out. He's a series called Just Me. It's like they're children's books. He's got novels too. But um, Cody and I work together there and we're like a family. It's a place called Cake and Art in West Hollywood, that's, California. That's Cody right there. Yep, that's Cody. And um, Cody and I, we, I just was like, I was so, dr- I had written the script. I was writing in the middle of shooting Twin Peaks, The Return. And like, I was We've got so. A fo- we got a photo with David Lynch coming up here. Shortly. Yeah, so I was so inspired after I shot Twin Peaks and met everybody there. Like I went right into shooting Angry Baker, mm. and um, you know you got to have the drive when you're ready to shoot a movie. Oh, like yeah. people go, "Are you going to do your next one?" I'm like, "You're asking a lot. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah. Like you have to like gather the, tr- the troops. Uh-huh. Everybody has to be ready. You have to have the money." The resources, the locations, the timing, and for this one, it all just worked out for me. And um, it took a while to get done though, because we started like in a September and then didn't get done till the following February because like people started going on vacations and then people were sick and it was flu season and it took a while for that one to get done. But it's my first movie, so it took a while. Will there be a second? Is there plans for? I w- I <laughs> we there could be. There's totally potential writing wise and character wise to be a second one. I don't know. It's kind of like wasn't the movie Troll just Troll 2 and there was never a part <laughs> one? That's kind of how I feel about it. I don't know. It's so like cuz it's not popular enough to have like oh my god it's angry baker 2 like ghostbusters 2 oh, or anything i didn't, I didn't, you know I didn't I mean? mean like a sequel i just meant like another movie we that won't. you would direct or you, yeah you, do you have like uh, ideas i do the the that you'd be like you know what it's maybe time for this i've been developing this for like 10 years and yes it's time to pull the trigger. yes and this one originally was going to p- take place in a diner with a waitress who was angry and then I talked to Tom, the owner of the cake shop. He's also a writer. He used to work on Mary Tyler Moore Show back in the day, and now he runs oh. the cake shop full time. And he is 117 years old. Yeah, yeah. No, he was a kid. He was like oh, wow. straight out of high school. And um, Tom was like, "Well, why don't you just shoot it here and turn the whole movie into a bakery?" And I was like, "Damn straight," because location is the biggest challenge I think in a movie, like the cost of a location, getting permits, and all that. I didn't want to deal with any of that. And I was like, oh, my God, all the characters are right here. We have, like, the bitch, the princess, the jock, the assholes. We have everybody, every kind of character you can think of here. So I just really just turned the whole script into revolving around the bakery. And, um, yeah, it's all so based on real characters. Yeah, it's all based on real characters. And my, my job there, I mean, these customers would come in and ask the dumbest shit, like... <laughs> They look around. We have like we tend Hollywood. to all the celebrities. Like we've done cakes for every celebrity. I've delivered to like Brad and Angelina, Tom Cruise. They like send us gift baskets, Ooh. and like um, people would walk in and go, "Do you guys sell cakes?" Like no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> like so, some of the dumbest people would just come in and ask questions. And you and know, there's some dumbasses in Hollywood up in because there. they're like pretty the, not smart. Yeah. <laughs> right, you made it this like far. the two girls in the thing. I think that portrayed it perfectly. For some people, it's just like oh yeah, we'll have uh, to we'll show uh, the uh, yeah. yeah. I have the mm-hmm. teaser. Let's play we'll that the teaser. Little. So talk amongst so, yourselves while um, I pull it up. Yeah, so that's uh, Susie and Miranda. Those are my girlfriends from out in L.A. And they, I was like, you guys would be so perfect for, like, the two bimbo chicks. And they're like, hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, first of all, they're I'm in- insulted. Second of all, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're so pretty and knock out Hollywood pretty. You know, like, these girls, like, guys just, like, flock. I love when, like, what's that line she said when she was like, I'm... Basically, she's like, I'm like hungry. Does it look like shop at Walmart? It was like after that, she's like, I'm hungry. But she's like, you're like, how, I don't know. 
She's we're like, doing hungry. We're doing hungry. Yes, that was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, these gluten-free organic chicks. I swear to it's God. Like, how are you doing? We're doing up, hungry. <laughs> there's all kinds of gluten-free organic everything <laughs> happening out there. There you go. There it is. Yeah. yeah so this yeah. is the trailer for. Her this was an old new one. Yeah. Clothes from the back of my car and uh, angry baby. Is your dead end job oh, your dreams? Kevin Caliber. I'm on the phone. I don't care what it costs. Just make sure she's in it. That guy's funny. Oh my god. I don't appreciate police officers coming into my establishment. They were found dead. Tom. You oh, done murdered murder some motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. It made the world a little less dystopian, don't you think? I didn't kill those girls, if that's what you're implying. Why get down? The name of the father of the I love this part, please. When you can get people of this vile, disgusting behavior. Revenge. When do you like that? Time's up. Angry Baker. <laughs> or the part, I love the part Cody where you're like, that voiceover. you're like, do you think I'm hot? And he's like, well, Jesus, look at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, well, we actually cut out a part. And he's like, well, that's why I hired you. And it was like a casting couch moment. So we were like, I'm just like putting in all these elements of my experiment experiences in LA that are just so fucking devastating. <laughs> like the casting couch and the way that men will treat women. Oh, man. So I got Hollywood. to I got I to get a lot out. A like I was so enraged by everything up. and the Me Too movement, and I was like, I have to get this movie out. And that was like a lot of the motivation behind it. The stupid people, <laughs> the hard <laughs> and they are trying <laughs> to get an acting thing going with a, a part time job, and like the struggle that all artists have. Like I got to make some income at this job, but I also am trying to pursue acting. Like people go, I'm an actor. Like, so what do you really do like for your day job? Oh, I'm a waitress or I right. work in customer service or I'm an Uber driver. Believe me, everybody's doing all of that. Yeah. So you got to make ends meet. That's the and thing. That's like, kind of, you hear that. Masonly. Yeah. Like that's where the stand-in work that's all for you Captain do. Marvel. Like that's, that's an example. Like I take these jobs like standing in or doing a body double job. For like what, shows. girl? What? Like uh, that was crazy. Like, so, like so, so for, with the stand, the stand-in jobs. Yeah. Are you, are are you able to interact much with the, you know, with the stars? Or get, I mean, at the very least, yeah. you're getting to observe some pretty phenomenal production. Yeah, you're right stuff there. Going on, right? Yeah, you're right there. Like you're when working with the stand DP. In? You stand in and rehearse before the star comes in and shoots it. Like the, you pre-light everything. Like, like in here, in Jason's studio, like, say if you had, like, some girl with red hair that came studio in cam. and was your height it, it be, and me. your skin tone, that's all important, hair color, skin mm -hmm. tone, height, those are the main things you need to have in common. Um, some people wear wigs, too, like the hardcore stand-ins, they're like, well, I've got a brown and a blonde and a red wig and I can do anything. But anyway, it's crazy, um, you pre-light all that stuff. So we get, we light, you know, the stand, they light the stand in and then like you'll walk in and do the part or whatever. And, and then like, sometimes those, the, those guys are right there. I mean, the producers, yeah. the, the whatever, yeah, ever, they're all watching big wigs. They're they, watching. And you rehearse it too. Like sometimes I was, you know, cause like I do so many shows where I just walk in and I'm not a regular and there's like, like number one, two, and three, they're like the main stand-ins and they live on the set and they're always there. But like someone will be like, hey, we need you to go over to Sony to stand in on Captain Marvel today. And that was just like a two-day gig, I think, for me. And I'm like, okay. And like, I don't even know what I'm getting into sometimes. Oh like my God, this girl. was just stand-in. I didn't really know it was for Captain Mar the Captain Marvel and then it, and then I figure out like you get on set and you start talking and figure out and they're like oh I think you're in for Brie or whatever like, you're like sometimes Brie I have Larson. no idea you mean like the cheese yeah <laughs> I know I get sense. her and Allison Brie mixed up I'm like it's two cheeses two stars <laughs> um, that's crazy that's such yeah. an honor to be able yeah. to do that and you know it's like every little thing is an opportunity I see that oh my like, god yeah I mean every little thing and I think that like that is such a huge thing to think about too for people it's like this is an opportunity you know what i mean like i i'm all about opportunities i always i'm this is like a running thing for tonight i always tell my students <laughs> that like you know like you know if you really want something go talk to your teacher you don't gotta be a suck up about it 
but just be yourself. Go talk to them. <laughs> like, pretend you're Renee Merrifield. Go talk to them. <laughs> yeah. Like, say something. Do something. Say something that you'll be remembered by. You know what I mean? Like, put yourself out there to where, yeah. you, I mean, that's just such a great opportunity. I can't imagine all the people, important people there when you're doing that. And, like, but Baby Yoda, Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, Brie th- Larson, like, like, what the heck? Like, what the heck? Like, what the heck? Well, that, Marvel, that, that got crazy because I was just booked as a stand-in, I thought. So I was just working with them with the lighting and everything. They had me on the ground, like, holding this weapon. It was, like, green and it was, like, blue screen ready. See, I imagine they that have, they just have you, like, put just, your head poked up through a hole, like a the, the stroller or something. You're just, like, looking around. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it was, like, a second unit day, too, and there were stunts happening. And there's Marvel stunts are hardcore. If you saw Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. this is the scene where the, um, what are those creature alien people called? The, can't remember, they, there's a whole, the like, ra- race of them in this movie. And they get, mm, they have yeah. a ship, and yeah. she's on the ship. Anyway, the ship, like, gets a, well, I don't want to spoil it. If people haven't seen it, but you should see it. And it's so, been out a while, which, so and I should yeah, have seen it by now. Which, so she's this is Infinity War, right? Yeah, no, so, not Infinity uh, Wars. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Oh, okay. So before just the, the Captain the Marvel. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. She ended up being in Infinity Wars, though, she was, right? Yes. She don't yes. save the day in it. She yeah. So then well, they're no. like, they like called me. They're like, Lisa, where are you? And I was like, because I was taking a break. And then I was like, what? And then like costumes runs up to me, and they like put the fucking Captain Marvel <laughs> jacket on me and like glove me up. And I was like, holy titties! <laughs> like the actual. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, what is going on? Like, so then they moved me up to a double. So then I was doubling for Captain Marvel. So it was a scene where she's like hanging on. Wait, is so this she's the, not is sucked is that out of the is, ship. Is that what this photo's from? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's me like getting, they're like lighting it and getting ready and I'm wearing the jacket. Oh my God. Thank God. So I'm there to take photos of this. My friend who's from I'd be Twin like, Peaks. Take a million. He was in the art department in Twin Peaks. My friend was working Captain Marvel and I saw him like over yonder and I was like, take take right. a fucking photo because <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed like he, he could have done a few more but he did good though <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna say his name but but, but that's enough if they want to oh, go not, find you're him you're not really but, allowed like, to no but he's art department and he they have a badge for everybody mm-hmm. a name you know with their picture and everything so he just slightly was like he got <laughs> he hooked me up fat for that and i was yeah. like yeah so yeah i gotta that get was, video footage yeah of you mm-hmm. can't of most stuff though like there's all kinds of things that happen on set they don't want you to talk about or show anybody especially this there, see, there's so one of those creatures. creatures. That creature, oh, it's like they're like an alien. Like an alien. They have yeah. creepy oh, yeah. faces, and they're mm-hmm. aliens. Cr- cr- I don't know. I want to say it's like Krigon or something. It. I don't know what a, they're a called. Klingon? Something like that. No, I can't think Star of Trek. it. So you're like you're filming the scene. You're like hanging off the side of a freaking spaceship, and you're yeah. Captain Marvel. Well, yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> doubling for her. No, so that is so it's funny. It's so they'll just like so they'll take stuff like this. Like I was just one of a few stand-ins and doubles, and they'll take us and they'll like put her face on top of our bodies sure. like with cgi yes because you know they so, can do that yeah so like the she's, mustache she's the only there mustache. for like close-ups and stuff like that but all the stunts you see she had this badass girl doing all of her stunts oh, she I'm, was that's killing goals it. for me like i want to learn some serious martial arts so i can be like a lethal weapon of destruction but just be like pew pew but and, like, the truth <laughs> of the matter is is like jason's stunts, like jason stunts thinks are dangerous. i'm so old like i'm literally like every time i walk i'm like and I'm like, I can barely walk up the stairs. I like, crack oh. I crack all the time. I used to do gymnastics and cheerleading and stuff. So, I mean, I crack like crazy. You're a cracker. I wake up and, and crack my back every morning. Oh, he is I a stretch. back cracker. Like, he can crack his back so violently loud. All the violently. Way up the spine. My sister's the same way, too. It's I, never enough. It's I know. Never enough. Oh, it's never. Do you cracking. have the roll, that rolly thing you lay your no. back on? No, no but like, you know. Oh my God! Really? If you're a back cracker, whew, yeah. what like a little flower roller? Or whatever yeah, it's but it's called? bigger, no, it's and big, you just yeah. lay on it and roll your back on it, and it's got oh. the textured ones. Oh, so good! A little mm. spot for your spine to roll. Mm-hmm. And the know. sauna. I'm gonna Joe Rogan it for a second. The sauna is everything, and the gyms are closed, so I don't know. But you guys could just Girl, install I a sauna suck up in here. At saunas, yeah, like for some well. reason, like every time I get into a hot tub or a sauna, I feel like after like two minutes, I'm like, well, I'm dying, so I'm going to <laughs> yeah, get out of pretty, here. Pretty hot. I don't know <laughs> what it is about. But I don't know what it is, but I just like die. I'm just like, bye. Yeah, yeah you have to be willing to get nasty. Yeah. I mean, like, I feel like I'm dying sweat. in there. You are a little bit. 
<laughs> but that's how you detox. Like hot yoga. Detox dying hell. equals detox. I didn't know you done hot yoga. Oh, I've done hot. Yo- I've did weed hot yoga, like cannabis Ooh. infused yoga. Like they have, they have goat yoga like, ah, in LA. Goat no, they yoga? Don't like they. they oh, like, baby goats they jump yoga. on you. Dude, yes, but I, d- I haven't gone to that. But I the, hate the, the goats. weed yoga is crazy, though. Like, I literally love everything, but I literally hate goats because I think they're like demonic. They'll those, eat you. Those sideways ass people. I mean, this goats, little detour. I don't baby understand. goats are adorable. Let's be honest. Like, they're like, meh, and they like jump they're off everything. They're so cute. And they're so cute. Speaking but they're of but, scary but goats. they grow into big goats. <laughs> With a freaking sideways pupil. I don't get that. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Can we please talk about David Lynch and Twin Peaks? Like, everybody loves David Lynch. He's huge. So, like, how... I mean, wow. What was, like... What was it like being in Twin Peaks and, and filming all that and being a part of that? That photo was our last day of shooting Twin Peaks. And we were oh. at a casino out on the east side of town. I like his black suit. Yeah, like uh, all these fans started coming up and mobbing him. And me and Ashley worked on the show. Like Ashley and Ashley Silouac is in that picture. She met the DP, uh, Peter Deming on Oz. (laughs) No, 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 no. The director of photography of Oz with James Franco and Mila Kunis up in Michigan. I love James. She met them up there. Met Peter up there, and then Peter got a job in L.A. to come work for Twin Peaks. And um, she ended up mo- – she had moved to L.A. at that time, and Peter was like, hey, come on, uh, Twin Peaks, and stand in. And then and then I was working with Ashley on a pilot, and Ashley was like, I'm going to get this job on Twin Peaks. I was like, you're going to what? <laughs> And like you if, you, if you can help somebody out, more the merrier. Like, if I can give my friend a job – it's amazing. I love being able to do that. Or if someone gives me a job, that's how you want to do it out there. Mm-hmm. But Ashley was like, I'm going to try to hook you up. I'm going to hit up the first AD and see if um, we can get you on. And like, she got me on like quick. Wow. And I was working on Twin Damn, Peaks with her. Great. She stood in for everybody. She was like the, the main female stand in. I did some, I did, I did like Ashley Judd. I did even got utility stand in. So I did some guys like uh, Robert For Forster who passed away recently oh, yeah. he was in that um laura dern uh Sherilyn finn um some other guest people i'm not thinking off the and top twi- of my twin head twin peaks that goes back to i mean there was the original there was a twin peaks back in the 90s that was on tv it was on t- was that him too who what tw- was who that david, david Lynch? yeah that this, was david is, Lynch da- too, right? this yeah. is david's baby so now he's 25 wow. years he later wow he brought it back that's cool I, I i never saw the first ones yeah, I haven't seen these. I need. I need to. We're I, going to now. People loved them. Yeah, then and, and the new ones just so like trippy. There's like 18 episodes. Well, the it, old ones were trippy, right? Like everyone was like, yeah, oh my God, it was so before it's so time. Crazy. David, like, really? bef- he's like, Pioneer, he's a true man. artist. Yeah. That's how I see him. Like, he's got this. I mean, you I, can look at his hair and, and see that he's a true artist. His hair, he's got the best hair, yeah. and he didn't give a shit. Like, he would smoke cigs on the sets <laughs> wherever we were, and I no love that. one Rob's ever said it. no. He had like an ashtray built into his like director chair. That is awesome. But David. <laughs> was like so relatable and so chill you know he's like big in a uh, t- like transcendental meditation too he's like really peaceful wow. and happy and just like very zen so you get it when you meet david you're just like oh the myth the man the legend kind of That's thing cool. and oh, like girl. he's just chilled and like we had so much fun on set and it was like a family and we would have get togethers sometime after the show was done and then like i heard he's working on something new so i was hoping they'd call me but what was your you role twin, in this Twin Peaks? Um, well, I was just an office worker, like in an elevator scene with Kyle MacLachlan. Um, He plays a character, Dougie, in the show, and I was just like a co-worker that was giving him shit in the elevator. I remember seeing that was, in your reel. Yeah. Um, yeah you have some he, experience as, here, a, as an office worker, don't you? Yeah I, yeah, I feel like <laughs> I get receptionist a lot for some reason, so I guess that's my niche, whatever. But um, he, David was notorious for putting a lot of crew members inside of the, the show. Like, there's a lot of people that there there's, was like makeup people, wardrobe people, um, grips. As, office, as an office. Look at you See, go. again, again. Yeah. And that's Rory Kramer. His career took off big after that. Did like, really? look up Rory Kramer. I mean, you don't have to pull him up now, but Rory has like this. He had a show on MTV for a while, like an adventure show. He like jumped, He's like a cliff diving nutcase. Oh, wow. <laughs> he a he red looks bowl. like Owen Wilson. He's a flying squirrel red yeah, bull. He's so cute. We had to kiss in this show. It was so weird. 
was it? Like, with like it was hilarious. Or? Like, this is a show with Audrina Patridge yeah. that I did up in Detroit. But there was like a scene that they needed us to kiss, and like it kept leading up to that day and leading up. And I remember you like can right tell before from that face there, you're <laughs> like, <laughs> he like disappeared from set, and I was like, where'd he go? It's and then he, he fought, liked you. He did like me, and I was just such a like a Who bitch. Wouldn't like you. I was just like there for business. I was like very strictly business, and I didn't even ke- like realize that he like was into me. Typical. That's kind of cool, actually, though. All the, everything's coming out tonight hey, on the Renee show. Hey, the Renee show. <laughs> but What's um, up? but yeah, yeah, yeah. Hour two. No, and I, Josh. Great. Oh my God. Oh well, Josh isn't in my reel actually. Joshua David Evans. He blew up too. He was like in cahoots with Miranda Sings. She's big on YouTube. She had her own yeah, show with on the F- lipstick. Yes, and he married her. Um, they're divorced now, and he's remarried. Life happens. But uh, he um, was married to her, huh? She Josh, just had a baby, I think. Josh, who is not, are. Josh is not in the scene. Josh is in the scene where, so the, angry. yeah, I know. But so, that's Rory. Oh my gosh. So, mm-hmm. like, if you were married and, it, like, <laughs> and you're like, look, <laughs> like, how, I mean, how would, would, I, would you have to be, would you have to be with someone that is okay with you being able to be an actress? Right. And kiss wearing people that little, and kiss people, thing, that thing, have the little, sex the with people. Panty. Thing. If you needed to, you know, on, like, film and stuff, like, I mean, I, that always worried me. It's like I couldn't. I don't, they gotta I don't be cool. I don't want to kiss anybody else. Like, how can yeah. I? Yeah. But I mean, for lie. the, for the, I mean, I don't know. How it was it, like so for business. The part. If I were, I wasn't single at the time. If I were single, things probably would have went down differently. You would have been like, I don't know. I mean, who knows where my life would have went? <laughs> you never know. Like your I life could change. I guarantee he still think second. about you. You need to maybe <laughs> text him. <laughs> He's, he's so famous You're now. Like, girl, give him a text. I know you got his number. Yeah, no, nah, hey. no, no. He won't even. He's he's like totally moved on. No, it's this no. is old. This is old. We've all moved on. I'm good. I don't know, no, girl. Look at you. There's Josh. So Josh, who was about to kiss Audrina. Oh. Ooh, I love this the scene. You're like, Miranda. I just got fired. I'm embarrassed. This is like the walk of shame. Look at yeah, your, I was your crying. I was like method acting that day. I, I love like this scene. Method though. acting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was method acting. I love that scene. You're like, you know, I'm. Like I'm, I I'm fired and embarrassed, and yeah. And then you were just like, you know what? I want to be with Jason. Jason, yeah. <laughs> you like run after him. I'm like it's Jason. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Like I got that opportunity because of my YouTube days. Like they saw me on YouTube and were like, oh, you want to do this show? Yeah. So you just oh, never know man. where things are gonna lead. You just exactly. th- throw yourself you in the fire out there. You Don't never get burned. Now see it right. <laughs> no, you do get. I mean, burned. you're going you're to. Get burned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so cute. I love it. you. Stand for everything that I believe in, and just like, and you're such a hard worker, so passionate, and um, I just, I think that's great. And you know, you Thank gotta you. tell me, you gotta tell me about the baby Yodas. Oh yeah, yeah. So I love the Mandalorian. Like I'm dedicals over it. Yeah, it's they so probably. I hope don't hashtag that on this show. You're they don't want to know. They don't. They don't want to know that we're talking about this. Disney's right. real weird. Marvel. I guarantee Disney. you. Mm-hmm. Um, don't worry. No, they won't know. We the ain't famous they are. enough yet. That was a weird <laughs> one. Like I got that. Nobody's call. watching. That call was like the day of, and I remember I was. I like, don't get sitting it. At home. How are you a standing for Baby Yoda? Like you're so. I'm cute. gonna tell you because it's well, CGI or whatever it's called. It's green screen. If she wasn't wearing those, headphones, so she's just like blah, 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 blah. like she's just like curled up in a ball and she's just like looking up and she's like Baby Yoda and so someone has to the actor is playing looking at you being like like your Baby Yoda and you're just like yeah <laughs> oh my god is that how it goes down. Well, remember, standing in is just to to get the lighting going. (laughs) So, like, we were pre-lighting for a Mandalorian photo shoot promo mixture kind of mixed media thing. And they were like, this is for season two. So if you watch season one, you see the intro and it's like the helmet with the lights kind of revolving around, which is so dope. And when I saw (laughs) when I got there and like the Disney personnel like brought in the helmet, I was like. Oh, and I saw them like lighting. I get all like excited about dorky shit like Jason. Yes. Uh, I love it. I was it. like, That's are cool. they gonna do like, like the they, helmet they lighting? Like, a bunch of, of different 50. helmets, right? All the different like iconic. And things. that color, that the yeah. weird color ray yeah. that revolves mm-hmm. around in the intro is so exciting. I with imagine the music. they just like swing oh, a light so bulb and the light bulbs move. Around. Yeah, well, there's guys holding up uh, some LED lights and different things yeah. like that. So you're working with the guys all the time as a stand-in, which they're all pretty cool and they're all like creatives. Um, mm-hmm. But this was for the mixed media thing and then like there was a guy standing in before me for uh pa- pedro pascal is that how you say his name uh, i think so yeah from 
Game oh, fuck. I gotta make sure I don't give shit away. Uh, um, so, exclusive. Ben, the guy, they brought in the helmet for him, for that stand in, so they could light him with his height and his helmet. Like I said, you have to be the same height as the person. And it was a guy. He was working for a while, and I was watching him. I was waiting my turn. So then eventually they brought me in. There's a lot of sit around and wait, let me tell you. And then you're like eating crab legs for lunch. And mm. that a crazy lunch that day. Like they've got Boku money. <laughs> Mandalorian. Like crab legs. They had a they nah. have a chef and then they're like giving away Bragg's <laughs> apple cider marinades and stuff for free. And they're oh, like, Oh, hell we, got, yeah. we got these sponsor, we got this, take this home with you, take this box of crab legs, take this steak. It's kind of glamorous. Take this the Mandalorian. Real glamorous over I there. I love this show so much. Dude, so, yeah. I love it. Oh, it's so good, too. And I was a fan, and I kept, like, sending messages to the universe. I'm like, That's please call me for the Mandalorian. And then one day, I'm sitting there trying to submit for jobs, you know, because there's days where you don't work. There's weeks where you don't work in this business. I get a call. Hey, are you available for a rush call to go work on Mandalorian yep. season two? <laughs> Interrupt them. Yep. But can you be there in an hour? Yeah. I'm like, yep. Even though I'm an hour away, like with traffic. Yeah, yep. Geez. And then I'm like booking it there. You know, like I was already kind of ready. Makeup in the car. I was like ready to go. It was like the universe set me up for it. Oh, yeah. Know? Hashtag impact. Ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> Parked, ran over there. And uh, so cool, then babe. you just sit around for like three hours. And then and then the guy saw Pedro, Pedro stand and do his thing. And they're like, all right, you're up. And then they're just having us stand like in front of some uh, green screens and then they're just like changing the lighting and stuff. And then um, I believe I was standing for Gina Carano, who um, she's on the show. She's the sidekick of Pedro's care of the Mandalorian. The, that like hot buff chick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So she I, is badass. She's hot, right? I'm like, I, I, I feel like she's be her. me because she's so big and I'm such a big human. I just feel like I could <laughs> be something like that. And she always kicks ass. Yeah. Like, you were standing in for her. That's yeah, so cool. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, so then they like wanted to get me a helmet or whatever, but then the Disney rep left. So they have these people they send out with like, kind of they're kind of like the briefcase props person and they'll like let you use certain things or a cape or a helmet and then they have to wrap up after a couple hours and then they leave because they're not allowed to have these props out for so long Mm -hmm. that have to do with the show like whether it's the captain marvel jacket this or that it's a weird it's it's like relics it's hardcore like damn i couldn't even imagine all the the stuff that goes into that really yeah Yeah, all the different stuff, so much. So much in the NDAs and all that. And then they have me, they're like, okay, so... then they're like, okay, for the child, they call him the child. And so they had me, like, get down on my stomach and put my hands up like this. They called him the child? He's the child. (gasps) Yeah. Oh, my God. He has has another name, and I will never tell you. You'll have to kill me for that. (gasps) No, tell me. So I had to lay like this. So my elbows were on the ground, and my head was up. So he's as tall as my elbow to my head. And, oh my um, god so you're laying on your tummy and you yeah, are literally like playing that baby Yoda. yeah he's that tall he's that tall and i was oh like i god. was like is this real life am i really standing in for baby yoda right oh now <laughs> i am losing my shit right now i can't yeah. believe that and i was like messing with him i'm like blinking i'm like how about this and they're like oh that's funny yeah with those icy eyes yeah. i guarantee you were a perfect baby yoda stand in i mean he could probably it was act unbelievable. to it and i love that actor too what's his name the one that plays the Mandalorian Pedro. Pedro he's like Pedro. hot right he's so hot and like and the we voice heard, we heard oh. him in, the voice is what Woo. is hot about him like we heard him um in some random movie and I was like oh my god that's hot. him that's him that's him what was that movie we yeah. just watched with uh, was that with uh, uh, Triple Frontier I think it was called okay. Ben Affleck with, and, uh, and, uh, yes and Tom yes yeah. not Tom okay yeah but no <laughs> Tom Hardy yeah, Tom. let's not go there <laughs> but yeah I mean dude do, have you done do, any work with Tom Hardy I Keep me away from Tom Hardy. Why? Like keep distance. Hello. Hashtag <laughs> Tom cutie. Hardy. Tom Hardy is Bane. like he's like Devin, he's hot <laughs> with the yes. mask without yeah. what Tom Hardy can do no wrong even if in Peaky Blinders. Hey, we haven't you know seen that. Tom Hardy's fresh. Mm. I guarantee you that's hard because I mean you probably have so many people coming after you and just like, I would yeah 
Yeah. I mean, you're so beautiful. It's oh, like, not me. No, I'm you. I'm talking about you. How do you like? Oh, how do you know. deal with like all these people? I mean, I, I know, know it's like I know. Hashtag. I'm also pretty, but you are literally hashtag drop dead goddamn gorgeous, wow. bitch. <laughs> wow. But seriously, I'll how take do, you, any. do you deal with like? Do you deal with it well? Like, just have? Do you have like hordes of zombie men just like? That I must marry you. One to talk. I must. You are impregnate you. Talk. Have my babies. <laughs> no, I mean like uh, since the me too movement it is like crickets out there like guys won't they like won't even look at you they won't talk to you and especially on set like if i have to do a scene where i'm like in bed with somebody or something they're like are you comfortable is everything okay are you sure if you feel uncomfortable i would be so annoyed i'd be like shut up when i work like if i do a stand-in job and i'm laying in bed i'm like it's the best day ever i just get to lay there yeah but i can really um, go for some grapes right now yeah, some great. No, yeah. and no. some big. Oh, leads. there's a lot of jokes. There's a lot of jokes, but those kind of jo- like you just like you're friends and you all keep it within each other. But everybody's comfortable. But if you're not comfortable, that would be a bad thing. But since the Me Too movement, things have gotten a little, a and little hopefully, weird. Hopefully, like you know, especially women in the acting industry and in your industry. Hopefully, they're not pushing it you know i mean i think that's what's making the men so uncomfortable it's like me too it's like okay we only need that if it's like serious like if something's happening you know what i mean but like i mean you just seem like very chill person to where you wouldn't like i don't know i don't know you know what i mean like it's like hopefully men can get back to their normal state not being (laughs) dicks but just like also not being like timid little like scared like Oh, I'm scared of saying anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody yeah. likes that. Like yeah. we like our men straight forward. We like them out there. So. Yeah, no, you're totally right. right. I don't like, know. Don't when, be timid. I don't know when we're gonna get back to that. To be honest, and now with, with the corona, corona quarantine, the corona why quarantine? do I keep saying quarantine? The quarantine's going to drive everyone crazy when they're off of this. There'll be parties. There's going to be some crazy hookups happening I out there. I recently saw that, too. It's orgies like, once this is I'm telling you. I'm telling 50 you. 50 people orgies. Like, once this is done, it's like people are going to end hordes party, which could then spread the virus worse. <laughs> and other things. It's and like, other. bro, all the things. All the things. I can't with this. I can't. Can this just please, like, God, I love I'm you, ready God. to party. Like, I miss my friends. Like, my tiny tiny cinema crew. They're like my film commune. You know, like, the group that did Butt Boy and my my uh, DP, Bill, Bill Mor- Morian. He's the head of tiny cinema. So they're like my film commune out in L.A., Jason. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's your friend group and your yeah, people. Yeah, my but artist group. Not only they're friends, but they're professional people. I yeah. mean, that's a huge company to have. And so, I mean, we got cool. we have I, fun parties, I though. guarantee you. Girl, we flying <laughs> out to Hollywood. Have, have you got, party you got yeah. a little yeah. carpet. Yeah. Can we, like, yeah. <laughs> we'll bring a little, like, little Roll blow-up carpet, mattress. Yeah. We'll sleep yeah, on your in floor. my studio, <laughs> in my little studio. Like it's literally in the kitchen. Like a one bed. <laughs> yeah, no, it sucks because I can't really have guests over. Like my friend, be- no my friend Beck, who's in this band called uh, Beck. Jinx uh, and Kai Aaron's. I don't know if you've heard of Kai Aaron's. He's he directed that Pixies video that I was in. Oh my god, I love the Pixies. Pixies. Yeah, I was don't in. I was in, in the video was, and Kai. Kai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good song, right? Um, but one, I'm though, on right? I'm on Graveyard Hill. It's it's their right. new Pixies album. But Kai, anyway, Beck is a friend of mine, and she stayed over for like two days, and she's just like she could like hear the Beck neighbor. From you? And you mean from you? No, Beck, no, 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 no. Beck, Beck. Beck, oh, Beck, Beck Black. God. Follow Beck Black. She's Beck Black. an amazing artist. Once she's a go good Beck, friend of mine. You don't go Black. She's so she's another <laughs> empath. Beck. She's an empath too. You'd love her. She's like. She, you oh, would I'll get definitely her. follow her. You would get Beck. I love that name. That's Beck Black. Sounds like a famous person. You know she what I mean? Is. She's totally. Just like uh, Lisa Mason Lee. It's like boom. Uh, <laughs> and like Renee Michelle Merrifield. It just fits. <laughs> <laughs> Not Thank to you. like throw me up in your group. But hey, girl, you know, I love you like that. But, but she stayed over a couple of days and she's like, uh, you know, I'm like, dude, it's, it's just too cramped in there. <laughs> girl, it's crazy. Like the price difference. Because like our old apartment we lived in for a f- like four years. He lived in it for about six years before yeah. I met him. But I mean, it was a... Um, What's it called? It had a spiral staircase. One yeah, bedroom. I remember that. Yeah, a loft. You've seen it. And so it was on the east side, real ratchet. And um, <laughs> hey. I mean, we loved it, but we did live next door to his ex girlfriend, Raven. <laughs> but anyway, actually, so, I'm, oh, me and Raven are buddies, so I know. I can't trip. Oh, oh well, she's, she's not, a smart girl. She's not for me. She's not for me. But you know, not not, not no, for everyone. No but. ex is a, is for you. No, I'm not jealous like not that. Not you I personally, but for care. anybody. Nobody really wants to deal with anyone. I ex. mean, I don't know. I don't care. I have a non jealousy problem. Problem, but something about Raven. But not to call people. I'm not Miranda. Didn't she create In the Loop with you, Jason? Wasn't that your guys' show? She happened. 
to be the one I was with when I created it. Oh, yeah, okay. she didn't have nothing to do with that, but she wants to I don't, take uh, the pride I don't for need it. No, I don't need no help to create TV shows. I've done Ooh. four now. So. But like, the drama. But like, we had this little apartment. It was like $400 a month. It was so cheap. And it's literally that the same size so as your studio. <laughs> and you That's pay twelve hundred. This is what we pay for this house. I think we pay thirteen hundred like for this yeah. house. Like, I mean, it's huge. It's a big house. We love the yeah. big house. It's such a nice upgrade. Oh, I love it. Three different studios, you know what I mean? Every room we turn into a studio and it's just bitching. I forgot where but, I was, yeah. to be honest. It's nice to be in India. I this love is Indiana. So cool. I knew Indiana I was too. special ever since I was like nineteen. I was bartending. Where? And I was Where'd like, you bartend? Um, I started bartending like underage. It was at the Mason Inn. I worked underage too in the bars. Mm. <laughs> they they had me, girl. They had uh-huh. me. <laughs> I bet they did. They did. You're they cute. had me. They're like she'll I'm, pull drinks. Oh, she'll pull tips. I, I made the money, girl. And then I would think it was like eighteen, nineteen when I first started bartending. Eighteen, nineteen. <laughs> yeah, literally. The year of eighteen, nineteen. Uh, uh, the kidding. year of I don't know what year it was, uh, but the there was like <laughs> this like dry lightning heat storm. It was heat raging lightning. heat lightning. It was literally like a four heat. hour storm. I got off work. I was drunk as shit i was laying on top of my first car which was a convertible oh, um man. a sunfire um pontiac sun i sunbird. love no those. sunbird no yeah. i remember I love, i'm laying on sunfire, top of my first right? car there's like four hours of dr- i mean it's perfect weather ever since then i'm like i'm i love indiana i believe in indiana indiana was probably like i mean i don't know if it was if it's me being born in Indiana, making it special, that just fucking conceited as shit. <laughs> but I'm just like, girl, Indiana is so special. I've always loved Indiana. I want to stay here. I, I, I like it. You should. But I, but I also I do want to go to Hollywood. Uh, you can just go check it out and come back. I mean, the whole move is <laughs> insane. You're like, girl, how was that for you? Was that hard? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, tell oh, me about God. your like decision to move to Hollywood. And I just, like I was just it counting the minutes till I was done with college. Like, I was just ready to get out of there. I see you creeping. Where are you going? Right? <laughs> She's done. She's done. She's like two hours in. I'm done. Um, no, now I'm just talking to myself. That's great. No, you're talking um, to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. We've got her away now. That's right. Again. <laughs> Finally. Phase two. I'm getting shiny though. Are you? Am I kind of shiny? I mean, I is it good? Is it healthy, shiny, or like, man, she's greasy? No, you, no, you look good. I'm a greasy so chick. So greasy. I'm greasy. Like, uh, it's cor- it's quarantine. I mean, I gave, oh my god. I gave you some tissues. Can you fly yourself? I could, but yeah. I'm not doing that on yeah. camera. Yeah, don't do that. Makeup. Wait, you want me to cut? No, yeah. no, no, no. Don't cut. Life. Don't you dare cut. We're going. We're doing this <laughs> I mean, all the way me. through. There you go. Um, did you watch Tiger King, you guys? Yes. Me too. Who yeah. didn't watch it? That was that was some brilliant documentary shit. That was pretty. That was pretty, that was pretty scary. Mm-hmm. Did you watch the after show with Joel McHale? No. Okay, well there's that. So I love he's, Joel he's, McHale though. I do too. He was very brash, asking a few questions like stuff that everybody's kind of been made fun about, made fun of about on the show. He like asked those questions like. You know, about the missing teeth and the meth kind of stuff. Uh, it was, and then when you see him ask, you kind of feel bad. You're like, shit, we kind of went too far with those jokes. These are people we're talking about here. Sure, they were doing some wild stuff and taking advantage of tigers, but. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the tiger dude. Yeah. Tiger Sorry, girl. That's Once you break that now. seal, girl, it's just over. I know, right? Oh, no. I don't know if you, you seem like you don't drink heavy, <laughs> LOL. I've learned my lessons. Let's put it that <laughs> Hashtag way. Hashtag quarantine. Sister. We all drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been drinking by myself, but not on camera like the way. <laughs> Just wait till we cut. Just wait yeah, till I'm later. Like, Who cares? Let's drink. Man, if this was a if this was a true Jason Rogan show, would be sparking a doobie about now. <laughs> wait, did you say Jason Rogan? Yeah. That's another thing. It's like <laughs> I want. I to. mean, Joe. <laughs> Jason Rogan. Joe. <laughs> if Joe Rogan and Jason Aaron had a baby. <laughs> um, Jason Rogan. The show would be a lot better. His show would look a lot better if they It'd had a baby. Life, yeah. You know? Oh, he needs yeah. more angles. He, he needs, needs more cam- I do like the fact that he's got Jamie, but you're Jamie mm-hmm. and Joe all in one. So, boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for show, show. Yeah. Joe what Rogan. What else have we not talked about that I wanted to talk yeah. about? Yeah, girl, you know, I mean, I just want to ask you, you got, do you have any, like, anything uh, also, else you want to say? Also, I would like to point out, oh, yeah. you never mentioned your, your Twitter hashtag. 
yet. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I've been meaning to it's say on, that. It's been on the bottom of the screen. Yo, the whole time. I have a, I have a hashtag. I actually have a hashtag. It's so cool. Just like the Sushi Boss, which shout out to our sponsors, yeah. Sushi Boss. Su- I fucking um, love sushi. Yeah, so I mean, twenty dollar, twenty percent off twenty dollar order. Ooh. Um, hashtag Renee or whatever. Put that promo code in Renee. No, no, no. I feel so I'm famous talking, with that. I'm, shit. How do you spell that? So cool. R e n e e. Two e's. But I know. I'm just. I'm side tracking. Yes, three e's. And then so like, I have a hashtag. I was talking about Twitter. I I know you're talking about that cutie so like i have cutie. an official <laughs> i have hey cutie hey 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 hey, hey. 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 <laughs> yo i have an official um hashtag so hashtag rmm show and we'll see it we'll put it's you on, on the, the show the it's right there it's on the bottom right corner of the screen we might we'll put, put you on the you show if you if you tweet us question. or it can be facebook or twitter so just, no, just twitter do you oh, just twitter hey. <laughs> Oh, did I just interrupt Hi. your promo? I'm sorry. No, no, Are you done? Fine. Yeah, I'm done. Do you know Andrew Young? Yeah. Just scrape Wait, my An- headphone <laughs> on the microphone. <laughs> wow. It's Wait, Andrew it's Young. Andrew that sounds Young. really from. He's the a um, R&B artist. He's se- he pl- he plays a lot of live stuff. He does. L- he's been doing Land Sharks for years in, in Broad Ripple. Sounds, but it sounds familiar. But he yeah, sings doesn't... live. He does all kinds of venues. But um, I used to sing with him back in the day. But you should meet Andrew Young, and you guys should consider interviewing him as well. Mm. He's oh, like definitely. local singer. Been doing it for a long time. Mm. Writing that down. He's girl. good. Andrew Young. He Andrew got me my Young. start in singing. I was like so timid to sing, and then he's like, "Join my band," and I joined, and I was singing with his band at like different what, bars. It what was, was crazy. That band That's so cool, man. An- the Andrew Young band. That's like, but me. it was fun. It was fun. They were named Michelle Merrifield band. Yeah, exactly. Which no, you, you know, go with it. It's your name, you know. <laughs> Oh, guys, I and mean, we have some comments, too. Let me just shout do out some questions? people. Do we have any questions, um, I don't know too? if we have que- Oh, my God. I do. Oh, I, got yeah, some, got some, I got some yeah, questions. Yeah. Um, Robert said, love the music. And French Ooh. accent, my guy said, yeah. Um, oui. Oh, he said, oui. what did he say? He said something later on the line about how we, oh, $1,200, you must pay back. You have to pay back taxes next year. Mm, that sucks. That's and then, true. And then someone said, no, you don't. And you don't have to pay taxes on either. <laughs> Where you getting, you know, getting those the trap check. Fun. Um, my girl Antoinette Verde, she said, "You getting sidetracked, bitch." That was at the very beginning. <laughs> about that what? is hilarious. From, she said, "Memories." My beautiful cousin, who's a twin. I don't know if she's my cousin, but she's Renee, my mom's cousin. Renee, I need you to pay what? attention to my what? voice for a second. What's your voice? Where are these questions coming from? Uh, the Facebook party. Okay. Watch party. Oh, the watch party? Okay, gotcha. That's yeah. the only thing I can't. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, um, oh, so you can't yeah, see Denise that. Denise yeah. said hi. She waved hi. at us. Um, Antoinette said, Jason has a green shirt. What happens if he goes in front of the green screen? Is he just a bopping uh, head? Oh, we don't have there one. There is no green screen. So <laughs> but we're, we're going to get a green screen, though. So much fun. Glenn Bill says hi. Oh, my God. Hi, Glenn Bill. We love hi. Glenn Bill. He's the bomb. Glenn Bill. And uh, let's see here. I was like, hi, everybody. Okay, yeah. So that's basically it. Dustin E. Collins waved. Um, a lot of people are commenting. That's so fun. Everybody. Oh, Nikki Reddington. It. We love Nikki Reddington. Shout out. She so said, Nikki. hi, Renee and Jason. Hello, Nikki. Nikki's cool. She's got her own show. She's been doing it forever, too. She's got, awesome. We've got, a, we've got a tweet on screen there. She loves the studio. Got a tweet on screen. And when is I my can't girl. see it. Says tra- well, you can't. See oh, it, but Joe <laughs> Kemp, y'all. The can see it. Uh, Jason does a podcast for the Miranda Monday show on every Mondays. So try to and him, uh, Miranda and Joe uh, Kemp you are. are on a, you're just going forward. With yes, the train, going forward. Sorry. Okay, keep What's happening? Sorry. <laughs> I love that <laughs> all these ahead. people came out. This is yeah, great. They did. They all. And this was just on my watch party. I don't know what the actual. Cody thing, Kitty. Oh, that must is Cody. Cody. Is that Cody Christensen? Yeah, that's Cody. Uh, he said he. He tried to send a heart, but uh, he got blocked for He's for one more hour. Haha, <laughs> great show, y'all. He, he <laughs> like got banned from some lame. It wasn't even a hardcore comment. It was like something like something silly that really? they yeah they blocked him on Facebook for like twenty four hours. It wasn't bad. I can't remember what he said to somebody, but that was it. Yeah. It'd be like that though. <laughs> okay, Mark Zuckerberg, rude ass, trash. <laughs> you trash. <laughs> Like you Silicon Valley trash girl, Silicon. Swear to God. We may use your program, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm but more, we don't do, you, do you like dorky guys other than Jason? Like Jason, like, not really like yeah. dorky, but I'm not dorky. I found myself like like, 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 like technically before, advanced, I like like Thank Zuckerberg, you. technically advanced. Oh, like Steve Jobs, straight, straight up like nerds. Oh Elon yeah, Musk. nerds are hot, man. They just know, and they're right? great. I'm not gonna finish that sentence, but they are good. Wait, what? cool people <laughs> she said Wayne. Good. they sense. are good cool people <laughs> i do not have but emotion no, jason is literally like my soulmate 
LOL. Yeah, so I, I can literally love him so much. And we're so happy together. Jason. And I'm just so proud of him for just always Me too. Following. He's such a hard worker. It's crazy. It's like I could. He's the guy. It's like I can't um, be mad at him for working ever. You know how some girls are like, <laughs> notice yeah. me, pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over yeah. here. Yeah. I'm well, right he, here. He includes you in with his lifestyle. Like, just like this, you know, he created the yeah. show yeah. for me and, <laughs> and so much more. He no, pushes me. He pushes me to be better every day. That's and important. He knows so what, important. like for me, it's like I only see the end goal. So it's really hard for me. It's always been hard for to me do to the take work, baby steps kind of. and take work, ex- to do the work and to take baby steps. And like I used to be a really, really hard worker where I would have like, you know, just physically three jobs, working double shifts every day. And I was like, this is literally not for me. Not everyone's a nine to five. You know what I mean? And I and I wasn't. It was making me miserable. I'm a, I'm a songwriter. That is my sole purpose. And helping people, I feel like, is also my sole purpose. And so... He's been so good with me, and I just, oh, my God, I just love him so much. He's so sweet, and it's so sweet that you guys have been friends for so long. I love that. I love that he brought you into my life, and you're such a positive, like, beautiful influence. Like, girl, you out here doing the thing, girl. I'm, Thank you. I you love too. your work ethic, both of you. You both have amazing work ethic, and I plan on pulling my head out of my ass and, and following suit. You know what I mean? You're Cause there. It, it's, it's like I'm doing what I I'm doing what I know, but there's so much more I could be doing. So there's more that could be done. <laughs> there always is, though. Like Joe Rogan was, I would keep going back to Joe. Yeah, he's he the was best. talking last night because Jason um, Rogan. Yeah, because they were talking about getting your personal assistant. He's like, why would you get a personal assistant? You can do everything on your own. And if you can't do everything on your own, you're doing too much. And I was like, wow, coming from Joe? Hmm. Because like mm-hmm. some people say, well, you haven't made it till so you get a personal assistant. But he he's always bringing Which it I back down to in earth. This past year, he is. He yeah, but then it back down. but then you have to rely on all their shit, and then they can be annoying, and then they can drop the ball, and yeah. then they're never going to be quite as sharp and good enough that as you correct. can handle it's it. It's like, like if you could man- clone me. Yeah, <laughs> then that's hard. maybe. That's a, trust. Yep. That's a, that's a you, hard thing to trust. Oh yeah, exactly. Like to. I have been friends with some famous people and seen their like personal citizens, and it's like that's got to be. A nice but also annoying to have to you know because what if they f up which they do and i've seen yeah. that side and they're like f you blah 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 you know what i mean yeah. it's like this person is not you and you can never create you but also you don't want to do that side if it's like i love people that stick and stick in their own lane it's like that's why they get personal assistance and stuff and and um you know what is what is it that you have that's like a they promote you and stuff. I forget what it's called. Like an agent. Yeah. So you, so you have an agent. I have. Are you your own agent, you said? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm looking for a new agent, Special actually. Agent. Oh. But um, I have an agent here, and then I had an I'll agent out in L.A. Berry. I but can't imagine all, like, the different, like, ports your money goes into just being, like, so an many. actress. I write it all off, though. Girl, that's beautiful. Yeah. I need to get better at that. You know, writing it off, getting Keep the $1,000 dollars here, $1,000. All, all your costumes. Your hair, your makeup, anything actor related, you can just write it off. Mm-hmm. So I'm fine. <laughs> That's good, girl. I'll I go love get that hair. I can't wait to get that hair did. Yes. My, oh my god, my hairdresser like freaked me out on her story the other day. She like slowly held up a, bo- a box color, and I was like, "What are you doing? Drop the box right now!" <laughs> and like back even away she, slowly. yeah, she was doing it, and she's you know. And I know we all thinking about like the box when it's like in your hairdressers yeah, are like i box. will kill you and it's like do you want me to be that meme when we crawl out of quarantine yeah that's like meh, meh, meh. you know what <laughs> yeah. i mean like yeah. what are we gonna do in this quarantine we can't see our hairdressers we can't do this stuff yeah like, what i trimmed do? my own hair the other day oh, i added some side your hair bangs is fire thanks with the headphones fire. you can't tell but i i trimmed some side bangs i did all around trim i just watched I love YouTube trimming hair it's so fun yeah, but you like I might fuck everything. this up, but also it might it look okay. It could be okay. fun. Yeah, it might look like I, I cut my grandma's lunch. hair. Yeah, <laughs> she's so cute. She's ninety one, and I Aww. cut her hair. Yeah, so she's adorable. Uh, I love I'm that. like I don't think anyone could mess this up. Like, pretty sure I couldn't mess it up if I tried. Right? That's how no. I feel. If anyone didn't, you're like, no, like, you right. could. No, 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 you could. No, oh, it's okay. good. It's good. That's what good I for like. You. My my hairdresser. Her name's Melody Chambers. Shout out to her. She, uh, guys, book this girl. She's in Croppersville, right in between Brownsburg and Speedway. Curly hair specialist. She actually is, and like, I never had had my hair even trimmed in like ten years. 
I was like, Fuck. Yeah, and what? Just, Who said yeah, that? I, and my dead ends. Every time I did model stuff, like every single makeup artist would always comment on my dead ends and my eyebrows. They're like, girl, your eyebrows, your eyebrows are, are ratchet. No, they're not. No, I mean, I'm just like, look, I'm trying to get this uh, Brooke Shields, like yeah. very bushy ratchet feel. Like I have not plucked my eyebrows in so long. They look good. And like, look at your eyebrows. They're goddamn perfection. Like look at them. They're like, just oh, look at them. Oh, 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 oh. Yours. We're yeah. talking about no, yours. No, yours. No, yours. they're not. Mine no. is very ratchet, no. but that's the acquired look that I'm wanting. So, I mean, I'm, I want they're them not. like. They're <laughs> not. They're very classy, very clean. They're huge. No, they're, they're good. LA. No, yours like are. You're, you, you've got good LA brows. <laughs> like every, Girl, People like do. pay for tattoo brows to look like yours. Microblading. I actually had this that's person that thing. wanted to microblade no, me. And I'm like, nope, I don't, don't know touch if you it. can make them bigger, but I'm not getting nope. mine microbladed because they're so big You don't already. need anything. Don't you dare So I mean, and, you and my dead ends were bad. So, I mean, my girl, yeah. um, you know, I, I do voice lessons. And so I give her voice lessons and she does my hair. And I was just like, uh, would you be mad if I did a box for, during the quarantine? She's did like, girl, box. I will kill your ass. <laughs> You know, that's how they all are. Like, yeah. don't do it. Watch. They're doing box <laughs> color. My hairdresser did. But she was very real, anti. Just the She root, was though. doing, yeah, covering craze and stuff. I swear, I, my freaking hair grows in like one day. Like, yeah. I get it do done. Do you take biotin? No. Do I, I do. need to? No, <laughs> you're that? good. What? Girls oh, it makes it take grow? take biotin to have hair like yours. But my hair doesn't grow. It's just so Cody, stuck Cody says, early in Cody it. Cody says, Is he back? Are, people are paying for big, beautiful brows here in New York, too. Right. He's in New York. Yeah, brows are big. He's in New York. He's in New York. Yeah. What's he doing in New York? He's living there right now. He oh. was he was bi coastal for a while, but he's like like locked it down and has been going to NYU. He just got accepted to Tisch. Fuck yeah. Tisch. What's Tisch hey. is the art school there, oh, and nice. he's waiting. Uh, I Must think I big. can say the thing about Harvard. Oh. It's gonna be a toss up. Let's put it that way. Harvard, Harvard, hello. Harvard. I would love he to go to Harvard. He just put out a book, a second book, his Just Me series. It's um about um kids who just dress up the way they want to dress without being told what to do Hashtag by the parents. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like n- no labels, nothing. Like kid, it's the, they're the cutest books. Oh, Cody's I Cody's meet smart. Them. And That's then awesome. um what else about Cody? Cody's an actor too. He put a break on that because he went to, back to school. He was in Billions. That was one of his shows he did. Billions. He did this cool Lifetime movie as well. But Cody, you know, uh, was right there. He was like my right-hand man for Angry Baker. And um, Cody was like such a good first AD. He's one of my favorites, but I have another one I really like too. Did he have an accent? Hard to choose. Well, Irish, did he have an Irish accent? This other AD you're talking about? Yeah, no, no. He was. Was he from Australia? Was he from Scotland? No one knows. Was he from England? No, wait. He was Irish. He was Irish. No, no, no. That was one of the questions. Mm-hmm. Who was my first AD? Well, I don't have to give that much thought. Patrick. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Richmond, he's such a good AD. Um, he works on the show Good Girls with the haughty redhead, Which you Christina on. Hendricks. Oh. Yeah, he's an AD on that show. So first AD, they're just like, they basically do all the work. Like the director directs, but the first does, they call the shots on everything. I swear they work like the hardest out of everybody on a set. And, uh, God, where did I meet? I met Patrick on a show called Stitchers. That's been over for a couple years. Um, But, yeah, Patrick's my favorite. Hopefully (laughs) Patrick Patrick. and I will work together again when the quarantine's over. Damn you, quarantine. I know. Coronavirus. Yeah, so Patrick's (laughs) my favorite first AD ever, for real. He's, like, so cool. So cool. I can't got, believe you talk directed about good your eyes. own movie. Like you done. Yeah. Wait, he got clear. He eyes. got good eyes. He got good if eyes. Yeah. Okay. This might be too far, but uh-huh. imagine, uh-huh. imagine the chances. Okay, you have babies one day, right? And then like those babies are gonna have your eyes. But if you had a husband that had the same eyes, girl, they definitely gonna have those eyes. Then they're gonna have brown eyes. No, I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know how that works. Yeah. I've I had these crazy. conversations with people, and you never know. It's and a, like it's you a said, your parent, both of your parents don't have that that color. They mm-hmm. they do have pretty eyes. You said, but not as just. It's weird. I tend to date guys with dark eyes. Oh, I dated I one dark date whatever, eyes guy. You know, these I don't days. trust them. I don't trust them. I'll just be happy if the guy has. I don't eyes. trust them. <laughs> <laughs> 
as long as they have eyeballs, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no see. offense to people that don't have eyeballs. But I usually do end up dating somebody that has good eyes in general, mm-hmm. no matter what color. So what's your favorite, like, quality of a man? Is it his smile, his voice, his eyes? Ooh, the first thing that comes to mind is the brain. Sure, the eyes will be important because somebody's got to be living behind those things. Mm-hmm. But, like... Just Ooh. the way he talks, his yeah, his, like the way but like he's the, a smart, smart, smart like smartness. Uh, Elon Musk called me. <laughs> We're riding in that Tesla, <laughs> solar power, this I'm and dead. that. Yeah, you know, no, no, smart no, no. men are no, I like freaking smart guys. sexy. Yeah, I, mean, I it's like, like a smart guy. It doesn't you matter what outs- you look like. Outsmart me. I love you. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. That's you gonna be hard to do. Something I don't know. That's gonna be hard to do. You don't get like threatened. By who? By, by like she a, don't get threatened by you know, nobody. Like threatened if someone's like, I don't know, smarter than you, whatever. Oh, I feel like that's insecurity. Oh, well, if they were to it depends like, on how they play. okay, if they're like, um, so actually, if, Lisa, this is the correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they do, if they put you down about it that you don't know, like, mm-hmm. that's no good. But if you can pull no your weight not. and like be interested and be cute at the same time and like pull your weight and then they respect you for whatever qualities you have then that's good but yeah if mm-hmm. they put you down because they're smart which i have met a couple guys like that that make you feel dumb because sure they're Hollywood. smart yeah, yeah. The there's a lot of dummies through. there too <laughs> <laughs> you read them right away too yeah i already know yeah i can't i just i hope the best for your future obviously and just thank like you. i already know you know i know you too. i think that thank you and i think that's so sweet that you're just out there living your passion and i think that's rare i mean <laughs> i i really look up to people that do that because it's like i'm in a box damn it and it's like i'm just what I, kind of box i don't know i've been holding myself back I don't know why, but I just, I mean, I've like had a many opportunities. Cody says, like, yay, finally talking about boys. Let me get my drink. Hey! <laughs> you know, I hope That's you our find, boys. like, the soulmate of your dreams that you could never imagine. And, like, and I know it's hard even thinking about that, like, being in Hollywood and, like, oh, you know, I couldn't have babies right now than the baby belly. But, girl, I guarantee you, <laughs> you are the person, you are the rare person that's going to pop out a kid. You can't even oh. tell. They're like one second later. They're they're skinny. They got the four pack right after birth. That's you. <laughs> I guarantee it. So when you have babies, don't worry about your acting career. Look how strong she when you're is. Popping out some babies. She's with working them. out, girl. A little bit. My jeans were not that tight today. I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. All those Are you Reese's. losing weight or gaining no, weight? No, I've been. I've lost some because my jeans were kind of loose, dude. I think I'm losing yeah. weight Shut too up, because Jason. there's nothing to <laughs> eat anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired but of Sushi, speaking of sushi, oh, though, like sushi when muscle. you said that, I was like, oh, I miss my like sushi days. And I like, sushi. what do you like on like sushi? Fuckins, I like some sashimi. <laughs> I like some <laughs> spicy tuna. Oh, some salmon. You I like, like that the, wasabi. You like it on the outside. You like the raw fish I, on the I outside. I like the plate of raw See, I'm fish. Not into that. I'm not I'll into eat this. a couple rolls with them, like some like sexy cream cheese and some like Ooh. something baked, like a Ooh. baked cream cheese. The cream cheese but is my sashimi, shit. Sashimi, just give me the slabs <laughs> of, of fish. Like. Do you like the fried sushi that's Sasha. like fried on the outside, but it's got like cream cheese, like crunchy? Yeah. What's that little crunchy thing it's like yeah. a little yeah, tempura spider. tempura, tempura yeah. yeah oh Ooh. fuck yeah yeah shout out to sushi boss y'all sushi tear that boss. up enter hashtag code renee girl get that 20 yeah. percent off that's edamame. a lot like oh i love edamame so cute with a little salt on it and you pop them at the pods yeah you're like <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh i love edamame i never knew about edamame until i was like in the restaurant biz for my whole fucking life I didn't even, you know, I didn't know about avocados till I was like oh 19. Oh my god! And to this day, I still call all I still call avocados all gua- gua- guacamole. <laughs> now I can. Guacamole. I'm like, can I have that guacamole? It's like, bitch, that is called an avocado. avocado. <laughs> I have an avocado tree in my I love like them. You, my neighbor. My you have a freaking avocado tree. Yeah, and like these yard they workers like come a- and they steal them. Like today, <gasps> my my uh, neighbor texted me. He's like, they're stealing our avocados. I had to run them off. <gasps> like I've gotten almost neighbor. in a fight. With the, oh these people gosh. stealing, I'm like, you do not take my avocados. Oh my gosh, it's the best. No, the, the I bad didn't know about moved. them. The bad oh, neighbor, he, really? he moved. Yeah, I, we, we prayed. God. My aunt Dorothy prayed him away, wow. and I got a, a police God. officer involved, and we got him out of there. Nice. Well, thank God. Wow. He's probably, he, he, the trash. He's took probably done that was a couple of years. He I believe in that. Out. I believe in the trash taking itself out. out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and let the universe work, yep. girl. Yeah, it was so toxic. I was like, well, this, but you got, you know, I was following your post and it was stressing me out. I'm like, I'm going to come there myself and F him up. Wait, it so got, does it that got mean crazy. you have a residency next? You need a P.O. box for people who do some fun stuff. I, yeah, I'm a resident in no. Los Angeles. I mean, a, re- a residency next door. 
residency? Oh, a new person. Yeah, like oh, God. Res- oh, my God. No, 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 no. They moved this other guy in who's, like, friends oh. with the property management, and he's, like, uh, this, like, carny kind of, like, n- he's better, but he's, like, oh, selling no. illegal stuff out of his apartment. And I was like, if you fuck with me one more wow. time, don't you dare. I'll end you. <laughs> you know. Winky. I don't look you know cute, my but I'll end you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like the apartment police. I mean, seriously, somebody like, people have do to this. do something. You have yeah. to. You can't just let people just walk all over mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. They can try. I still can't believe you have an avocado tree. That's amazing. People are trying to yeah. steal them from. Oh, they you. do. They come and they have a uh, this some cl- like picker with a stick. It's like oh it, my it, god, it they come they come handy with, with a, a bolt with a bucket with a bolt cutter yep. trying to get these wow. damn avocados off the yeah. tree. Oh hell no! You yeah. come up in my lawn trying to steal my avocado. Yeah, you should my see guacamole. Me. <laughs> I should have sent you that video, but that is so crazy. And like at first, like when I was first started eating, and I was like, okay, it tastes like nothing. This is nothing to be yeah. thought of. But then I was like, it's addictive. It's, it's the beautiful. nectar of the gods. It's the nectar of the gods. They're so healthy. Like you, that can you can just it's feed a baby lovely. that forever. A baby could just eat avocados, mushy avocados. It's Especially so baby it's Yoda. so <laughs> yeah, I bet that's baby why Yoda he's green. Loves, yeah. Yeah. loves avocados in frogs. He does. He loves. He's frogs. so fucking cute. He's he so is cute. The show. I lose my shit every time, and I love how the show, The Mandalorian, really like features him every single episode. Uh, so it's not just about the Mandalorian. It's about the ball, it's about the little ball too. The ball. Oh. He sque- he unsquirrels it, and he's like unsquirrels it. Squirrel. <laughs> it's called Unsquirrel. <laughs> when is season He's two so coming cute. out? Do we know? Mm, no. I lose my balls back. over Baby oh, Yoda. Yeah, like I, I literally can't. Yeah, like everything, everything. is pushed back. Because Top of the coronavirus. Gun, James Bond, October. Uh. Oh, that was like such a wrench in the spokes. I was like, need I need some Daniel Craig. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, yeah, yeah. He's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, we all been on and that some ride. Tom Cruise. I don't care what anyone says about yeah. Tom Cruise. I love Tom Cruise. I want to see Top Gun yep. too. I love Are you Tom Cruise. Me? Me like too. how many years after the original? I love it when they and do the original actors movies that were from my childhood. That's just incredible. Like what is it? Yeah. I don't know about 50 but maybe 40 years later what is it i don't know what what gun yeah no it's not it feels no it's at least 30 right it's uh probably that was probably mm. don't I, be cheating I mean, on google and, you know, and tom cruise is the dude he does he his own is. stunts he's like hanging off the plane breaking his body you know what i mean like he's so he's super cool i love actors that do that i mean there's a new mission <sighs> impossible there they had to stop filming as well another yeah. one I, I love Mission Impossible. I Coronavirus know. Coronavirus needs to cease to exist. No, it is like like they're talking about reopening and everything's gonna like unfold slowly, kind of the scary, way it closed, though. but it's gonna take a lot longer to reopen. Like I think and people need to be expecting well, to stay inside longer than they are expecting. Like, I mean, every school is closed now. I mean, I have seniors that are students. My students that are seniors, they are just their life is ruined. I feel so bad for them. Like they like my students are badass. I will take mostly anyone but i mean i really kind of like i've kind of vexed my student you know when i'm first like having them or whatever and it's like vex them i vex them kind of in a way just vex, i mean like i will take anyone i will teach anyone but i have some <laughs> really talented students and like they get lead roles and shit and they're wow and like they are i mean they learn this whole entire musical or play for nothing and like and then the seniors like they don't get to graduate they don't get to go to prom they don't get to walk like, <gasps> they don't get to walk feels the graduation so bad for them that sucks yeah all that and okay so one of my friends like yeah. posted cody isn't walking for graduation my friend cody that's really? yeah he's so like he did this crazy photo shoot at home too like in his cap and gown and everything he's like toilet paper everywhere i'm like <laughs> i love you see that's anyway. what's up with y'all filmmakers so like, he y'all took all the toilet paper you have to like capitalize Karen. on the darkness, you know, make mm-hmm. it fun. That's what I've been doing. And me and Jason stay in a lot of with our homebodies, but it's just <clears> like <throat> I can't. I, I'm kind of like almost feeling the world. I don't know, like the world's pain. It's like everyone, yeah. everyone, like, most people are not equipped for this. Like, no, this is. And can you imagine no. having like unruly kids? Like, oh or if you're like an abusive God. relationship or something. No. I know, I know. It's scary. I know. I feel bad for people. It's kind of like I carry their weight or something. Like I feel bad for them. Yeah. Uh, it's not good. Not good. <laughs> not good. I've heard some stories, but I'm not going to share. <laughs> yeah. So that's a serious note right there. The domestic abuse. Yeah, and, girl. and there's like a thing. I wish I had the number. If you're in a domestic abuse relationship situation, then, I mean, Google it. There's a number. You can call them. I don't know. They'll come and get your ass and move your ass for free yeah, out of there. Yeah, and message me, if anything, too. I'll talk to you about message it. Message us. Yeah, we know Lisa's all about it. Lisa's number is 555. Five, five. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. ah. 
Lisa, you are so pretty, so beautiful, gorgeous, perfect, adorable, baby Yoda. I see. This is the perfect comparison. You literally stood in for baby Yoda, and that is everything to me because he is my entire life besides Jason and music I love baby Yoda I love baby Yoda so much I can't believe you did that Captain Marvel like what the heck like Brie Larson like what the heck girl and so many other roles your new movie just came out yeah Angry, Angry Baker. Baker on Amazon just type in Angry Baker it should come up probably one Do people have to pay to watch it or if, if you, they have Prime uh, they can watch it for free well they should pay I they should support they, yeah and you know what I've gotten a lot of rentals and purchases actually but um, nice. it's still for rent or buy right now it's only $1.99 cool. to rent that's so support cheap. the artist. Support Come the on. artist. That's right. She I'm, literally put her heart and soul and directed yeah. it. I mean, and just all of the work you've done. It's, I mean, I couldn't even like I said at the beginning of the show. I can't talk you up enough. You are just killing the game. Thank I, you. I love having just amazing guests like this. Like that are just you bring. You know, someone actually the Johnson brothers. Yeah. I think it was Mark Johnson. He told me, and it's a fabulous quote. It's like surround yourself by five people who you want to be basically shaped by because they're going to shape you. So mm-hmm. surround yourself with five fabulous people. And that's kind of also who you are. Like who you surround yourself with is kind of who you are as well. Who defines and you. It, ah. it, who defines you. Exactly. And it's just like I love, 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 love having you as a friend and just a mentor as well. Girl, you're killing the game. And I I support you so much. Like, I believe in you 1000% girl. There's no way. I literally am a future producer as well. Yeah. LOL. You're a fucking, you famous. <laughs> you oh famous God. girl. Hey, you famous. All I'll say is you just have to do it yourself. Like you DIY. can't just wait on everyone else. I mean, right. and when you're ready to make something happen, people who care about you and believe in you will step up and help you mm-hmm. and you can make it come true. For real. Yes. Like yeah. the team is so important. For oh, real. yeah. And so these five people, can can you just like look for them on Craigslist or? No, they have <laughs> Where to be embedded like oh, in your being, person. right? In your yeah. DNA. Yeah. And some people, you know, I think people stress about friends. It's like if you have one good friend or two. Yeah. Or at least under your five fingers, you can count. I mean, I think that's I that's guess. a blessing. Yeah. Like, would you rather have a few good friends yeah. or like a bunch of fucking fake friends, right? I'm happy that I actually have a few good friends and not a bunch of fake friends. Exactly. I've always been that way. I have a very right. small circle. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's better that way, I think. So. Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone that you would like to shout out or like anything you would like to <gasps> <Mama>. say? <sighs> Promote yourself. Let's hear about, you know, p- tell the people what to look for. Tell them what to do or shout out somebody, anyone. Oh my Tell God! Me. Um, my mom, my dad, Aww. my brother Chris, my sister-in-law Heather, um, my aunt Dorothy and Uncle Noel. You finna win like, Emmys and Oscars! I'm like Jesus. I know, like God. Jesus is real. Like I love God so much. This is the weird. universe that has facilitated all these wonderful things. Um, Isn't it a yeah. miracle like that we're alive? We're literally hurtling through space right now. I love yeah, but I seriously know. though, we're like tiny little specks. It's so weird. We're invisible. It's in the weird. Whole it could all just like, be a projection. Though. You guys did smoke I know. that California coast before we started. <laughs> I, I wish. wish. I, Jinx. Man, I want to. I would. Lo- I would love to bring you guys some stuff, but. Hey, next time, you know, when it's not all illegal and things, give it a Come few on, minutes. Come on, Indiana. Give it Come a few, on. Just give it a few minutes. It'll things, be fine. Things soon. will change so It'll much happen. if it legalizes here. It'll just be so different in a way. Indiana is the center point of something great. I've always known it. Always the Bible freaking Belt? known it. Oh, it's it's just like a pew, pew, pew. You know, we got people here. We got no, people. There's, I mean, Ryan Murphy's from Indiana. Look mm-hmm. at him. He's one of the top film haunt shows in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. He Some, was born here. There's a bunch His of people. His brain is born here. Indiana is special. I don't care who says what about oh, it. Oh, it is. I love it. I, I love, love it Indiana more. And it's so developed. Much. I'm so glad you came home. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. It sucks though that I can't go out. Like, I want to go to Basbo's. I want to go oh, to the Rast. I hear they still like, have the to go. I want a party. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I want to go so to the awful. beer garden at the Rasco with my mom and dance. Uh, we'd be hitting the town up right now if it was all available. I know. So and one, we're once, going once to. they open, once everything opens back up, you can stick around here a little bit and, uh, and party some, with us. Some 
some local some TV uh, stuff. establishments? Or he's starting the show. He's California. starting his new show. He's Which having one? me as a host. What are we, what are in you the doing? Loop. In the loop. Number what, two. Okay, what are you doing? You're going to be the main host or what? No, Maybe there's four of us, but okay. um, girl, you got to be up in there too. We'll bring you in, girl. Remember we did she special stuff gift. before? We did that. We did the I know she was probably one of your main D's, people. 3D's pub. Which show was that? <gasps> oh my god, I performed there what one time. What was that show we did when, when we did 3D's? 3D's. Was that real scene? 3D's. Was I performed we went there. to no, 3D's. I thought that was Rashida that did uh, I did a 3D's. I did a stand up outside of 3D's. Was that in the loop? Wait, you do stand up? <laughs> no, 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 no. Stand ups uh, are when you're a host you and you lava. stand in front okay, of girls. Like, you did comedy. lava. No, you lava should know that. That's important. Ripple. It's for yeah, very important. Uh, I know, but I, I did three Ds as well. Oh, three Ds. And we did Skate no, Land, right. Skate yeah, Land, and, or whatever. And North uh, North Meridian. Yeah, I think that was my first gig with Mono Fiction. Actually, performing at three Ds. Yeah, they had a nice. They had a nice thing. Yeah, they did. That was actually good. That was a good piece. What show was that though that we did? That was in the loop. Okay. Okay, so you, is no, in, the in the loop. That would have been real scene. Where is in the loop going to be on Wish? Uh, RTV Six. Oh, you're getting in bed with the Six. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that, I mean, that's they about, wanted it. They so wanted that's about the, the show. only station I haven't been on. I've been on uh, Wish. I've been on WFYI. I've been on uh, WTHR, mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. RTV Six. So the only one I ha haven't been on is like Fox. Oh, well, it sucks to be them, but w but uh, six is lucky to have you because you I always know, have so good excited. content. Thank yeah, you, and it's just you. gonna be fun stuff about the city and whatnot. But oh, I love the that. Normal. There's the always something stuff. happening. And thank yeah. you so much for my rock and oh, my, my apothic rose. Yeah, that's girl. it. That's day drinking. I, right there. I saw that. I've been wanting to try that. So yeah, it's like chill bubbly. it, chill it. Yeah, no, 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 that, not that one. But uh, oh, just chill so it. Is it like champagne? No, like, no, it's flat. Oh, so it's like yeah. it's like white it's wine. It's just the how the French day drink. They drink oh, rosé. It's you're like, so sweet. You did not have to make this cute little rock for yeah. me. Yeah, and like all of this stuff is so cute. Yeah, so it's a paperweight. It could be a paperweight. It's says, perfect. Cody <laughs> says, "Great show. Love you, Lisa. Love you, Renee. Such a fun show to watch. You girls rock." Thank you. We love you. Thank you so much for the say, support. I was going to say, I was feeling left out, Cody, because you didn't mention me. Love the God. Oh, it's Jason, If by it the weren't way. for Jason, we would just be talking to ourselves with no microphone or anything. That's a true story. I know. Thank God for Jason. We would be like on some broke-ass couch, just like doing <laughs> Facebook <laughs> Live. Like, F, yeah. yeah, no, there'd be like one view, <laughs> viewer. Okay, so I actually, sorry, I keep interrupting you, but like, Itty, um, you know, you said your mom, your sister, yeah. you said, you know, your dad. Yeah. Any other shout outs you'd like to have? I'm going to hate this because later I'm going to go, oh, I forgot. Dude, well, Cody, uh, obviously. It'd always be like that. Um, the Tiny Cinema Crew. Um, shit. Everybody out in Little LA. Fofo. All my, gr my girls. <laughs> all my girls I work on set with. Everybody in the industry. I mean. Like those two sluts in the Man, bigger. it's like, yeah. <laughs> An angry God, bigger. I miss being on set so much. It's like where Damn. the it's where the party Girl, is. Girl, make a, make a part for me. I'll fly out there. Girl, I swear to God, I'm a good actress. If I do a second something, then I'll put you in it. <laughs> just just envision something for me eventually. I swear to God, I'll. I'll put you in. It's going to be crazy, I'll though. It's always it's going to be a dark comedy. Girl, again. I'm crazy. It's yeah. perfect. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. We want. <laughs> we I want. That. She is, in fact, Girl, crazy. I'm fucking crazy. Yeah, we want crazy people. <laughs> but I'm so proud of your shows, Jason. Um, I'd Thank love you. to. If I'm still um, here, I'd love to help out whatever you're doing. Sure. Or may, if you want to do a video, let me know. Yes, yeah, so let's do something before you go back. I yeah. Mean, I know it's social distancing, but we've yeah. there's the three of us suits. in here. So well, we've got, already been close. So. We're six feet apart. We're I mean, fine. It's not any different than going shopping at Walmart with like a hundred people exactly. there. Because I did being careful. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know how long I'll be here. I mean, when is the industry going to kick back up? I don't know. Right. I don't know. Oh, God, I have no idea. I mean, at least after the 15th, that could be first of june when it actually starts going mm -hmm. off i don't know august no idea i'm just gonna chill like we're riding our bikes i'm working out mm -hmm. you know i'm just hanging with the vacation fam. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how i feel it's kind of like a vacation i feel bad for people that are like i see my friends posting i'm trapped i'm dying it's like just relax you don't have to work right now it could be cool family time so you know just have fun with it if you're able try to see the positive of it which you're obviously doing i'm doing but i know it's hard for some people i think i feel that i feel other people's pain for some reason but i know people are having trouble with this quarantine yeah it's like damn i mean it's hard I, I, yeah I and all the nurses and everybody who's having to work oh and God. take care of it Healthcare providers. they are yeah. such yeah. heroes honestly they, are. they are out here just doing it these masks are not enough 
Lord have mercy. I mean, and I hate so, wearing they, the mask, they by have, the way. They didn't sign up for this. I mean, they no. did, but they didn't know this was coming. Like, Nobody they're just did. trying to help people in a small way and be amazing, yeah. you know, nurses and doctors. And then, like, this gets thrown out at them. It's just like, this is crazy. This could be, this is kind of like, I would feel like I was in, like, a world, you know, World War One or something, like, back in, like, the olden days where it's like, oh, my God, I, like, I'm forced to help these people if I was a nurse or a doctor. I mean, can you imagine what they're, like, feeling? Like, they're amazing. It is. It's like for doing that for us and just putting yourself in the line of fire. Really, it's like it's dangerous too. It's not something to mess with. We'll see. The, oh. the yeah, the economy is going to be quite a surprise. I think when this is all done, like whew, mm-hmm. we have no idea what's coming for us. We yeah, can only it's either speculate. Gonna boom or it's just gonna. I don't know what's gonna happen. Your grandma, who's ninety, did she used to have like. Uh, does she have like a bomb shelter kind of like collection of canned food and things when she was younger <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah like my grandma did she had a basement full of that's can- more like, like my stepdad like my stepdad is like ready just like you said ready. you're i think who was it your step- my br- brother and his yeah wife. and his wife yeah they're ready for they're ready. it like apocalypse yeah ready <laughs> yeah they're good that's how i would like to think they're myself gonna but i have everything. like nothing in the cupboard and like i would be ma- Ooh, you'd oh, be screwed girl i would be but seriously i would last a long time in a zombie apocalypse i didn't know why that. How? Because I am fearless, and I not only fearless, but I will kill you. You'll, <laughs> like, th- you'll throw a hatchet at <laughs> someone's neck. Oh, I'll practice hatcheting, throwing. <laughs> I mean, Trust I would me. have a. See, this is the flaw I think most apocalyptic people Ooh. in the shows have. Yeah, they need a belt full of multiple weapons. Yeah, why are they just carrying one weapon all the time? And right. guns are useless. It's kind of I mean, like you're gonna run Ninja Turtles, you know. It's scary. Like, have a backup. Have five backups. Get a freaking pencil. You can kill them with a pencil. You can kill them yeah. with anything. Yeah. I mean, this is zombie. No, this is woman talk. talk. <laughs> like late at night when you're walking to your car. Like, I will after poke your eyes out with my a thumbs if I need yeah. to. But don't make me go will there. Do. Anything will anything. do. Anything. Like, <laughs> you can literally make a weapon out of it. You're like, <laughs> uh, I'm getting very uncomfortable. <laughs> no, as a woman, like you always have to think about that. It's like scary. Mace, taser. Like, my friend got me a taser. Especially I have in t- Hollywood. Stuff like Dude. That. I can't even imagine. Yeah. I'm like, s- makes me specific sad. scenarios I have protection with me. Mm-hmm. It's awful. I mean, I can't even imagine, but... Oh my God! So, girl, yep. you have been such an incredible guest on my show. Thank You're you so much for coming host. out. I love you so much. I love you too. You're a dear friend and such a beautiful person inside and you out. Too. I mean, girl, like, girl, whoever gets whoever gets <laughs> your beautiful. It's true, oh. uh, James Blunt. Whoever gets famous first, let's take each other to the top. <laughs> I tell it to my students. There's that line again. <laughs> I tell my students, blah blah. But, girl, uh, you know what I mean take me to the top with yeah. you if you make it girl you're already freaking doing too. it i mean god i couldn't even imagine i mean you're killing the game so thank, thank you. you so much and and shout out to jason aaron with yes, studio jason. j oh, hosting all right. of this he does multiple podcasts he's such a talented producer like tv five, five. producer he's been doing it for 23 he's years how do you get a hold he's of him psychopath like, how do you get a hold of jason to, if to they're watching this you, you know find your way back you know <laughs> you already know find him he does amazing podcasts um check out his podcast um monday is miranda love i'm on thursdays we have austin and ryan on what uh that austin and ryan is tuesday the, uh, but they're released on wednesday uh, and then Holistic Nutrition is on Wednesday. And Glenn Bill. Glenn Bill is, uh, those are released on Tuesdays. Motivational speaker, keynote speaker kind of thing. Mm. Attitude guy. And uh, oh, yeah, he's Blue Collar Real Estate on Fridays. Yeah, so cool. check out Jason Aaron with J Studio. Thank you so much. Studio J. Oh, Studio J. So sorry, close. sorry. I'm like dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa Mason Lee, for being my guest on this special me. episode. I'm sure everyone learned so much from you and what it's like to be in the actual industry, living out there in Hollywood, killing the game, just doing your dream over and over and over and over and over. Like, you get... You get denied, you get denied, but you get accepted too, and that's what it's all about. I mean, that's what I mean. I don't know how anyone would deny you. Like, I if I was a producer, oh, I would you. melt. I'd be like, oh my god, we're making her the lead. You know what I mean? Like, you you're too. melty. You're so sweet, and you're so talented. And I love music. everything. Wow. I love your reels. We're gonna tag. Um, we're gonna post the comments of the music video we showed of me and Lisa, which is Lisa's song. We're hearing and, Lisa right now. Um, this is Hollywood Boy. We're gonna yeah. post her reels. This Thank is you. Lisa. Check her out on Spotify. Check her out. Like her on Facebook. 
and just watch for this girl because she is going to take <laughs> over the world. Don't slide into her DMs unless you're really worthy. Even no, though she don't. says she doesn't want if it. If you're if nerdy, you go for it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not... <laughs> If you're nerdy, you're worthy. <laughs> ah, yes. Just do my girl right. You know what I mean? Like, she's the best. You know what I mean? So thank you so much, Lisa. I love you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for and having And I me. hope, like, everyone has an amazing night. Stay safe in the quarantine. Yes. Um, just be good to each other out there. That's what my old principal in high school used to say every day. Over the intercom, he'd be like, be good to each other out there. Hey, there's I'm some like, truth that to that. Stuck, yeah. to, yeah. stuck with me, like. Just be good to each other out be there. Nice, I know it's kind. crazy. Love don't each share other. Share the TP. Don't be a Karen. Don't yeah. Don't grab <laughs> all. The, I feel bad <laughs> for don't the Karens out there that are don't cool. Don't be a Carol. Yeah, Baskin. like Carol Baskin. That yeah. bitch. But just be good to each other. This pandemic is gonna be. I mean, it's going to be a long, hard road, but we can do this together as a country. Let's support each other. America. America. Exactly. America. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Thank you. And we will see you next time. Thank you, my special guest, Lisa Mason Lee, everybody. (laughs) We will see you next time, next Thursday, 7 p.m. at the Renee Michelle Merrifield Show. Bye.